Our story begins in the Rashtil Expanse, where the wind races across empty plains. It is a sad, hostile land, a wild frontier and a gateway to lands unknown. In ages past, Rashtil had a heart, the city-state of Ascalia, ruled by the great house Loran. Indeed, over centuries, it came to be known as the Gem in the Realms, earning respect from all races under the sun. But the Crusades changed that. Attracting the ire of its neighbors, Ascalia was lost to the flames of war. With its marble bones laid to rest, the city has slept ever since, until now. In a distant country, a father lies on his deathbed. For his entire life, he has kept a secret. Yet now, the truth is finally revealed. His only son, Kay, learns that Ascalia belongs to his family, the noble house Lauren. As the sole remaining heir, it is his destiny to face that heritage, to restore the ancestral kingdom. Aided by his two sisters and a trusty bodyguard, Young K sets out on a journey to the Rashtil Expanse, to Ascalia. The legend is about to be retold. And so, on a promise made on the father's dying breath, our hero arrives to fulfill his destiny. For great justice! Wait, but that's not our hero. This is our hero. I can't feel my legs. Steal yourself, young master. We're almost at the castle. Right. This place is a mess. Not quite what I was expecting. Ah, but surely you aim to restore this place to glory, young master. You are, after all, its rightful ruler. Well... What a terrible, terrible dump. Glorious kingdom, my ass. Remind me, whose idea was it to come here again? Actually, I'm pretty sure both of you insisted. Come on, sis, isn't this exciting? It's like we're heroes of a book on an adventure or something. <sighs> well, I suppose we may as well try to salvage something from this terrible misunderstanding of a trip. Uh, salvage? Onwards, minions! To the castle. Maybe there's something valuable left, at least. Minions? Not much of an improvement. Ugh, don't remind me. Loot and scoot, boys! Well, at least she has her priorities straight. Look, young master, such exquisite pieces of armor. <laughs> Aha! No, wait. Rat poop. I must say, the inhabitants must have had a remarkable grasp on... What's this, big bro? Just some tea I found in a pot nearby. Tastes like dust and ashes, but, you know, it's still tea, right? Wait, what? You do realize that you just poured stuff from an urn, as in literal ashes? Oh, shit. Who dares? Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. <laughs> you, the one with the dire need of a haircut, what have you done to my remains? Well, 
Apparently, I have drank them. This is an outrage! My rest interrupted! My remains defiled! Prepare for severe punishment! <laughs> Just kidding. How you doing? I... what? Don't go what on me, son! You're the one who drank my ashes, so you know. Some manners, eh? Maybe an introduction? I... A thing? Do you often wander into other fellas' households, slurping their debtors? Hmm? This is Kay of House Lauren, heir apparent to this revered establishment. Ghost or no, respect is in order. Uh, but... Oh, ho, ho, ho. so you're a Lauren, Sonny. Funny story. That would make me your grandfather. The Sinoralis of House Lauren, at your service. Though I imagine being dead limits my options. Is this real life? So, heir apparent, is it? Good for you. I thought you'd be taller. And bulkier. And, you know, smarter. And ashy stuff? Big no-no. Rocky start, my boy. Uh, look. Anyway, since I'm already here, might as well help you get right on track, hmm? Fetch me the customer. Oh, joy. I don't think there's one left around. Bullshit, son! We Laurens are proud folk! And this... This... Oh... Oh... Just what the hell happened here? This place is a dump! At least he agrees, of all people. Seriously, what have you people done to the castle? Is it that bad? What about the village? This ain't right! This ain't right at all! But you're the heir! You'll be putting all of this back together? Well... Indeed, noble spirit. As we live and breathe, we shall see to it that young master will bring... Uh... Uh... Hmm. Look, I'm sorry about the ashes. And I appreciate the offer. I really do. But we came here looking for a family estate, not ghosts and ruins. Nobody expected... this? This is crazy. But you're the heir. Sorry, this just won't work out. But that must... Wait, where are you going? Kay. Kay. Wait, you lot! I ain't done with you! Ugh, kids these days! Oh, hey guys. What was that all about? I needed to collect my thoughts. Sure looked like a temper tantrum to me. It's just too much, you know? One day we're heirs to an ancient city. Then it turns out that there's nothing left standing and that the whole errand was pointless. And last but not least, there's a crazy ghost who wants us, me, to rebuild this place as if I'm some sort of king. You do know you kind of stepped into that one yourself. So what is your plan, young master? We're leaving this place. But... We're not heroes. We may be of House Lauren, but so what? This place is ancient history, nothing more. Did someone say House Lauren? Well met. With whom do I have the pleasure? How rude. To demand the name of another before introducing oneself. Very well. The lady has a point. Walter Crucy, I represent the Furtive Union. The Furtive Union? I take it you are not familiar with our organization, then. Speaking concisely, we are men of business. Sometimes we invest, sometimes we lend. But mostly, we reclaim goods deemed impossible to vindicate. So you're debt collectors? Correct, more or less. But that still leaves us in the dark over your identity. Or your rather puzzling presence in this God's forsaken place. You're not supposed to be here. Well, 
I do not like your tone. This is Kay, heir to House Lauren, inheritor of Ascalia, the rightful master of this city. If anyone remains the intruder, it is your entourage, Mr. Crucy. Is that true? You are the heir, young man? By the gods, Griffith. You would doubt our word? Interesting. That is an excellent turn of events. We shall kill two birds with one stone. Oh? Regretfully, I have to inform you that your holdings and possessions back home have been... confiscated. What? What? How the hell? If you truly are Kay of House Lauren, then by virtue of law, you have also inherited the obligations placed upon this land. Monetary obligations. Obligations? In short, your ancestors have left you a rather staggering debt, my lord. Show me! What?! How is that even possible? The zeros need a separate sticker to fit on paper. I am afraid that for all their prestige and renown, your grandsires appear to have been rather indulgent people, my lord. Shall we proceed with the execution? But... but I don't have that kind of money. That is unfortunate. Also ironic, given their wealth of history here. I can't believe it. All of this, the whole city, lost because of a debt? Why, no. It got destroyed during the Crusades. The debt, you see, is an older development. The Crusades? But enough angsting over history. Business first. Let me introduce you to my assistants. Ah! Mr. Knight. What are you doing? You will not harm them. Please. We are civilized people. Punching, albeit enjoyable, would give us little benefit. At least for now. The truth remains, however, that you indeed seem unable to procure funds. Thus, I propose a deal. A deal? You are a king right now, young man. Of sorts. Your title still has hold in Brash Till. People respect it, and respect is money. I propose you seize what chance you have. Rebuild this city of yours. Revitalize it. Is this a trick? <laughs> Why would it be? Consider it an investment of trust on our part. And if I refuse? You seem to have misunderstood my position, my lord. It is not an if, not a but, not a maybe. Do it, or payment shall be extracted through different means. Considerably less pleasurable, if I may add. <laughs> Big bro. I am a reasonable man. We shall split the debts into parts, each to be paid in regular intervals. Would that be acceptable? You're asking us to do the impossible! No, we are asking you to do the improbable. But this is a chance now. One surely worth taking. I urge you to act as soon as possible. Time is money, and you cannot afford to waste it, my lord. And this is our cue to leave. The accord has been reached, nothing else remains to be said. Soon, I will contact you through mail. I bid you farewell. But this is insane! The deadline is approaching. Tick tock, tick tock. Are you all right, big bro? Give me a minute. Okay. Thoughts? Isn't it obvious? It's not like we have any other options. Yeah. Did... Did they really sell Dad's estate? That's evil! Does it change anything? Wasn't Master K planning to make his ancestors proud anyway? Well, technically... 
Uh, you know what? Never mind. No, go on. How do you feel about this? I'll be honest with you guys. I don't like this one bit. Aside from the debt thing, whoever or whatever should be doing spring cleaning here, it's not me. Not us. But then comes the debt thing. And we don't really have any choice anymore. I hate it. But we must. Damn it. This is so depressing. Annoying, more like. What's the big deal? Can't hurt to try. And you have that alleged grandfather to help us, right? Oh, that's true. I have completely forgotten about him. I do not expect him to be happy about the debt. No, he won't be. But that's not going to be the worst part of the conversation. Ah, uh, oh well. To the castle, then. Off we go to beg and moan. Yay. And that's how it went. Hmm. Nasty buggers, them FUs. So it looks like you'll be needing my help after all, eh? Ah, oh. <laughs> funny how it works. Yes, the irony is not lost on us. Just tell me what to do. Let me see. Hmm. A king ain't a king with no people to lord over, yeah? So that's the first thing. Get someone to move here. Any pair of hands would be a resource right now. Also, perhaps it'd be worth looking into that whole debt business, you know? What do you mean? That loan shark ain't exactly what I'd call the most trustworthy person around. What you got was scraps, and we need facts, writs, documents, the whole story, my boy. Call me a sentimental dead sod, but I can't imagine my kiddos ruining the kingdom over money. Crucy mentioned wars. Crusades. There you go. Something worth looking into, hmm? Ah, uh, and Sonny, you're not alone. Those sisters of yours? That stern-looking chap? You're all House Lauren. Do not try to think everything through by yourself. You have four heads. Use them. And there's you. Ah, right. About that. I'm hopping in. Huh? Don't harm me, boy. Like it or not, technically, I'm inside you now. Ew. And this means our fates are tied, for now. And believe me, you'll need me. Oh, yes. In other words, you'll be lugging me around wherever you go. Oh, gods. Oh, just kidding. But I appreciate the enthusiasm. My spirit is bound to these walls. Likely for good. Bloody shame, that. I would love to see how the world's changed over all these centuries. What was it like back then, Grandpa? Eh, uh, probably nicer if you don't count the gnomes. I'll tell you some other time. Cool. The gnomes. But the gnomes are still around. They are? <sighs> I knew it, them business-savvy midgets. They don't play you faster than a gambler with a stack. Deck. That's great! Irritating and bipolar, I see. Gwen? Now, I may be a racist old codger who has mixed feelings about them gnomes, but they know their stuff, and you do need their stuff. Which is? Surely you've heard. Pretty much everything they touch turns to gold. Then you need gold, no? You're gonna need trade routes, and they're born tradesmen, sonny. If anyone can help you make the coin flow again, it's them. As much as it cramps my spectral butt to say so. I see. Right. Time to get to work. Oh, one more thing. Before you do anything, Sonny, have you, uh, taken a good look around? Castle's a mess. Unless you want to be king for dust mites, I'd suggest the four of you grab a mop and declutter it. No way in hell I'm going to clean. I, uh, I'm allergic to dust. Gee, thanks, guys. <laughs> uh...
Oh, for the love of... What is this place? An armory? Well, well. I think you should look at this, sire. Sire? Sire. Uh, what? Uh, okay. Coming. What did you find? Wait, a sketch of House Lauren's family tree? That's exactly what we need! Oh, but it's incomplete. Damaged. It's a start, no? What do you mean? Look at it as one looks at a foundation. With this, you get a tangible base to build upon. Questions to answer, people to look for, names to check. A direction, so to speak, which is exactly what we need right now. I am sure that eventually we will be able to fill the blanks ourselves. Uh, you're right. Let's show this to the girls, Griffith. Agreed. And as unenthusiastic as they were, let us hope they have cleaned up the main hall. I'm sure Grandfather would nag them to death otherwise. Oh, by the way, before we go... This seems out of place. Indeed. It does not resemble any of the other armors around the castle. Thoughts? It seems Lord Amarian in origin. Sun symbols everywhere. Plenty of ornamentations, highly impractical, perhaps used for ceremonial reasons. In all honesty, it is hard to tell sometimes. Lordamar's knights like it gaudy. Lordamar? The kingdom of Lordamar to the east? Militant sun worshippers? The very same, yes. Why would a Lormarian armor be locked in here? We're in Rashtil. That's far, far away. A gift from a king, perhaps. Hmm, could be. I uh, think we should do something with it? If it doesn't involve Lady Gwen pawning it off for money, then yes. I was thinking more along the lines of main hall decoration, moving it somewhere more presentable. I do not see why not. All right, hop to it. Sometimes I think you and your sisters are more alike than you imagine, young master. Hey, you're back! How did it go? To be honest, we didn't really clean much, but we found this. What's that? Looks like a family tree. Our family tree, I assume. Yeah. You know, this may actually be useful. We're going to need stuff like this if we want to get to the bottom of this debt business. Our thoughts exactly. Ho oh, ho ho, but it's more than that. <laughs> you can't be narrow-minded in this, boy. It's not just about who borrowed what, you know? If you want to be a king, you need legitimacy. And that means history, lineage, solid facts, everything that constitutes rulership. You may frown upon this, Sonny, but there are folks who buy into this more than they buy into money. It's a chunk of knowledge that will help you in the long run. I agree. If we are to be nobility, we need the bearings of nobility. And if it helps us on more than one front, all the better. But I can't be running around dusting off Chronicles. There are things to do right here, right now. You're not alone in this, big bro. Remember? Let me handle the... Hmm, boring ancestry stuff. I'll be digging into documents and family affairs while you do your thing. Which I assume will involve whacking uglies. What about me? What about you? I want to help too! How about no? I think that's an excellent idea. I'd appreciate it if you two would work on this together. Are you serious? You heard him. Oh, come on, sis. Why the long face? It's going to be fun. Ah, also, I bet your duties will take you all over Rashtil, Sonny. Methinks you should also ask the nice ladies over here to look after the city while you're away. All in all, you're in this together, hmm? As a family. So are you, old fart. Ho oh, ho ho, but I'm dead already. Can I trust you with this, then? Leave it to us. What about you, Griffith? You know my answer. 
I swore an oath on your father's dying breath that I would not leave your side. I shall follow you in the field should you call me to do so. Very well. What's our next step? I may have a thing, Kay. While you guys were gone, I took a sightseeing trip around the city. Turns out there are still some people living in the area. Really? Yep. There's an inn near the crossroads, not far away from the gates. I saw light coming from inside, so they're most likely still in business. Here, big bro. I'll show you on the map. Ho ho ho! That's excellent news! If anything, you should go and introduce yourself. You're going to be their ruler. Ugh, mingling with peasants. What exactly will this accomplish? Now, now, young lady. A king is nothing without his subjects. Any fool may claim a pile of rubble, but without people, you're just an empty title. Or a tyrant. No, oh, my boy. One cannot rule in a vacuum. You need to be a person. Their person. Not just a face on the throne. You may obtain riches and inherit lands, but in the end, true wealth lies in the hearts and minds of your people. You are only as powerful as the respect you command. Never forget this. Respect of my people. Ah, at last! The Patriarch speaks my language. Duty, service, loyalty. We shall forge bonds everlasting. This, I swear. Uh, yeah, what he said. All right, I'm off to the inn. Griffith? At your side. Let's go then. This is the place, young master. Welcome to the placeholder. Can I get you something? Uh, hello. Well met. We would like to speak with the esteemed owner of this fine establishment. Post haste. You're weird. Mister, why does your friend speak like a weirdo? Hmm. Gods, Griffith, you just can't reel it in, can you? I'm sorry, we don't want anything, thanks. Can we speak with the owner? Sure, what do you need? Wait, wait, I think I'm not getting through. The owner, as in the guy who owns this place? Yep. And that's you? Yep. But you're like, what, 12? Yep. All right, Griffith, you win. Lend me a hand here. You're the owner, then. Are you guys slow or something? What about that menacing gentleman behind the counter? Him? That's my dad. He works here. And? And Co owns the place, I guess. Aha! Thank you. That's what we wanted to hear. Huh, weirdos. Greetings. <clears throat> Are you the owner of this inn? <clears throat> I am Kay of House Lauren. I wanted to inform you that I... Will, uh, be rebuilding. Um, please stop staring at me like that. You're freaking me out. So, uh, the weather's nice, yes? Come on, give me something to work with. Uh, pretty please? Oh, for the love of... I won't answer, you know. What? Baz never speaks. What do you mean he never speaks? He can't speak? Mm, don't know. I haven't ever heard him utter a word. How does he manage to run a tavern? That girl over there, Rilke, his daughter. She is his lips for all it's worth. I noticed he's a little intense. Yeah, that's Baz. Staring the crap out of people, one customer at a time. And you are? Shichirochi, or just Shichi. I used to fight in the war, and that's where I met Baz. Which war? Does it really matter? Well, we're veterans, good sirs. Spending our retirement running an inn, and the ass end of nowhere. Are you also an owner? Eh, uh, no. I like to think of myself as a permanent guest who doesn't pay for his drinks. <laughs> and uh, sometimes sleeps in the basement. So you're a bum. Hey, some of us quit the war with dignity. Me, 
I got a hole in my wallet. Also gonorrhea. I see. I take it that the inn doesn't get many visitors. Nope. Supposedly, once upon a time, these crossroads were an oft-traveled trade route. That castle over yonder, heart of Ascalia, the jewel of Reshitul, blah, blah, blah. Long gone now, only roaches and rubble. I'm Kay of House Lauren. Ascalia once belonged to my family. Oh, yeah? Indeed. You're here to fix things a bit, boy? More or less, yes. <laughs> hear that, Baz? We got a king over here. Business will flow again. <laughs> well, that's nice and all, but I'm afraid you'll be having some problems getting people to resettle. How so? It's because of the beast! They're afraid of the beast! What manner of beast are you talking about, young lady? They say it's got three heads, and its eyes are like fire, and it shoots acid out of its rear? Truth be told, uh, no one knows. Hmm. But it's true. Something stalks the woods, cutting animals. People are afraid of it. They say they can feel its eyes on their necks as they travel through the forest. Now... I've heard that even elves steer clear of these parts. Yet nobody has ever actually seen this beast. Nope. Sounds like a myth, no? Indeed. Yeah, well, myth or not, it scares people. Besides, you're the top dog around here now, laddie. If anybody should be worried about this, it's you. Hmm. Will you be slaying the beast, good sirs? Indeed we will. If it truly exists, we shall restlessly scour the land until we manage to plant a sword in its squishy yet monstrous forehead. What? Oh, it's so exciting. Can you drop by later and tell us how it went? Papa loves stories. Right, Papa? <sighs> On my honor. Well then, good luck, laddie. Happy hunting. I'll be raising a mug here, hoping for your, eh, uh, non-demise. Now, wait a minute. So, what exactly are we doing here, Griffith? Looking for the beast. And why are we doing this? To end its reign of terror and bring peace to the land. And what are our chances of the supposed beast appearing? Well, since we are in fact chatting casually in the middle of a seemingly lifeless forest, given the laws of narrative probability, I would say... It happens now! Get ready, young master! What the hell? That our beast, Griffith? No, there's no way. You are saying... On second thought. The fabled beast appears to have slowed down. She doesn't look like a bandit, or a beast for that matter. Why would she be terrorizing the locals? I do not think we can expect civil reasoning from her, sire. I would suggest caution in your attempts to communicate. You win. You speak. There are no words between predator and prey, yes? In defeat, our roles are reversed. If words are shared, it shall be so, by your choosing. What? Are you the beast that stalks Rashtil? Rashtil? Such a name is unknown to me. You speak of names, of names that impose boundaries, but these are not mine. We share a sky, but the boundary is not mine. The mark is not mine. The territory is not mine. I understood nothing. Neither did I. Packs, tribes, kin, rights. The Kelra way, our way, my way. To overcome enemies, we become beasts in spirit. I guess that explains the outburst. Sort of. 
There is strength in such bonds, as in all bonds born out of respect. We take only what is given and never force our way. I still cannot make heads or tails of what you're saying. <sighs> the beast chooses the man, and the man accepts the beast. But it is a process, not an act. Something to claw and strive for. For many days and many nights, many moons that come and go. But the exact count is meaningless. One cannot return without finding the right beast. So unless I'm getting utterly confounded here, you're saying you are searching for your beast? Yes. And this search brought you here? Just so. I have never heard about this tribe of yours, these Kelra. The turtle and the eagle both share a sky. But though the turtle wonders about the clouds, he will never take flight, yes? Huh? It is a color unknown to your kind, much as yours is unknown to mine. Is she really the same girl who just tried to rip our throats out? But anyway, what does all of this mean? I am sorry, but I can't allow you to run around the woods anymore. I am a lord of sorts, of these lands, and I could really use some popular support. You aren't helping, you know. You need to leave. Then we are at odds. But as the victor, you are within rights to request so, if that is your will. What would happen if you were to abandon your right and go back home? My siblings would devour me whole. Uh, figuratively speaking? No. Young master? I know what you're about to ask me, Griffith, and I'm not sure I'll like it. Come now, we all follow our oaths, and hers seems to be of great import, to her at the very least. Well, we're in the middle of something ourselves, remember? You're asking me to put her own good above ours. No, I am asking you to be the man your father thought you would always be. Which is? The better man. Eh. Sire. Damn you, Griffith. What if we made a deal? The predator does not barter with prey. He does not want you to be his prey. He wants you to be his partner. Your lion speaks yet confuses. Elaborate. Lion? Come with us. We'll give you shelter and resources, and hopefully it'll help you find your beast. A cage of wood and stone yields no answers. That may be so, but you won't have to stay in one. As a member of my retinue, I expect people to honor your special outdoor privileges. And, uh, small eccentricities. Emphasis on small. No doubt you would price this favor in my strength, yes? What for? You heard it yourself. We need all the hands we can get to rebuild the city. I am sure Master K would be very pleased with such a capable warrior as yourself. I see. Then the boon is granted, and so I will join your pack. I shall follow the duckling and the lion so that together we may fulfill our oaths. Duckling? Really? Why do I get a duckling while you get to be a lion? I have absolutely no idea. Now, uh, the girls. I have a feeling this will take a long, long while to explain to Gwen. <laughs> huh? Uh, another miss. Licked clean. Adram, why can't a man make a decent profit anymore? Not that I'm complaining. Maybe the castle would be more fruitful. Hello. Eh? Oh! <laughs> Hello! <clears throat> Hello! Mighty fine weather for a stroll. Am I right? Yep. Are you here for a walk, too? Ah, uh, no. Not precisely. I am on a walk, yes. But it is a different kind of walk. A gilded walk of spreading joy and awe to all whom I may encounter. I am Haksun ibn al Andorans, purveyor of goods most wondrous, wandering merchant supreme, and uh, most certainly not one of those street peddlers who would shank you for a stray copper. <laughs> oh, then you must have come to see my brother. I'm afraid uh, your meaning eludes me. But if you pardon me asking, what is a nice young lady like yourself doing in a place like this? I live here. 
uh, you live here? As in here, here? I know. I'm sorry about the mess, but it's a recent thing. My brother just became the lord of that castle. See? Over there! Oh, is that so? <laughs> well, well. Things just got very, very interesting. Perhaps there is good money to be made here, after all. <laughs> this is a most fortuitous development. I would be delighted to exchange goods with your brother. That is, uh, with your permission, my fair lady. But of course! I'm sure he'll be overjoyed to have you. Ah, splendid! Well then, all that remains is a handshake to cement our joyous agreement. Am I right? Shall we? <laughs> oh, joy. Your tasks will be... Caravans? I asked him to get some goods from Minway. The roads aren't exactly safe, but we need trade. And no sane man would dare to mess with one of the gnomish princes. But he's not a merchant prince. Right. Don't tell that to the bandits. You don't seem to like Master Andorus all that much. He is resourceful, I guess. And persistent. Might as well make the most of it. I detect a scathing undertone in your voice, my lady. I'm just a simple merchant, trying to make a living. See? You didn't say honest. Does the quality of my service offend you? Depends if that jar of golden liquid you unpacked three boxes ago truly is a quote-unquote potion for good fortune. <laughs> uh, perhaps an empirical sandfall is in order. A small discount for my benefactors. Well... Thanks, but no thanks. Shucks! Someone was stowed away in the supplies! Ow, ow, ow! Are you alright? Could be better. You? Oh, I ate toast for breakfast and... What the hell were you doing in a vase? Get my vase! On my caravan! The girl! Oh, the last thing I need right now is human trafficking charges! What do you think one can do in a vase? You're not going to just talk your way out of this. Who are you? Okay, okay, Miss Pissy. Call me Alice. It, 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 my vase! You violated my vase! <sighs> I didn't violate anything. I hitched a ride. 
all the way from Minway. That raises disturbing questions. And I suppose you want me to answer them now? So why did you hide in that vase, miss? <sighs> Fine. Ignore my mask. You'll come begging to me for discounts later. Oh, you know how it is. You stick your head a little out of the crab bucket, and suddenly, everyone's aiming to lop it off. You live, you're bound to make somebody mad. Get enough heat, and it's time to change the ambiance. Wouldn't be the first time, anyway. <sighs> Look, it's complicated. For now, I'm just looking for a place to crash in. No strings attached, no charity involved. Believe me, I can pull my weight. You're awfully keen to lie low, aren't you? Hey, I'm not a criminal if that's what you're getting at. Sis? What are you looking at me for? The decision is not mine. You'll have to talk to our brother about this. Then I will. You call for me, dearie? Mm, yeah. I could seriously use some help here. Ah, uh, not like I have anything to do. Shoot. Well, we still haven't sorted out all the family paperwork. See this? Gwen tells me it's some kind of ancient script. Maybe even magical. And I thought, you know, you're ancient, right? Do you know anything about this kind of writing? Ancient? Really, my girl, you wound me. Well, at least metaphorically speaking. Ta-ta! Did I mention that I'm hurt? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to imply you're old, even though, um, you are. Ah, uh, when my age you reach, you'll learn that the subtle distinction between old and really goddamn old becomes extremely important. Oh? Uh, what's that? Oh, hello. How are you doing? Grandpa? <laughs> Funny thing, that. It seems there's someone inside already. <laughs> what are we talking about again? What do you mean there's someone inside? A spirit, but not like me. It's cold, distant, asleep in this shell of an armor. It shouldn't be there. But there we go. Sometimes, if the will is strong enough, the dead may remain behind. And there it is. It slumbers. But I can reach out and tug at its essence, stir it once more, help it awaken. Please do. Here he comes. Did it work? Where am I? What is this sensation? Are these my hands? But I should be dead. I am dead. Am I? I refuse to die once. It's all so blurry. Why? Where am I? Um, are you all right? You. Who are you? Where am I? Explain this strangeness! <laughs> You're one to talk. Ghost. Yes, now it makes sense. Be gone, foul undead. You will not sway me. Oh my. He's adjusting really well, don't you think? Um... Hello? Is everything all right? Am I dead? Eh? Of course you are, just like me. The only difference being that, for some reason, you're inseparable from that golden tin can of yours. Don't know why. What manner of cruel joke is this? Is this your doing, ghost? Ah, <sighs> dead, death, what's the difference? They have trickery as a foot. Not really. We found this armor locked in the basement of our castle. Grandpa said your spirit was bound inside. Castle? Yes, sir. Ascalia, in the Rashtil Expanse. Preposterous! That's impossible! What the what now? So you don't know why you ended up there? Come now, Mr. Knight. Please don't be like that. We're just trying to help. You seek to coddle me, insolent child. I am Lord Azalius Castellavant of Lordemar, and you will show proper respect. But... Ho ho ho! Such a spirited ex-individual. 
I've had enough of your blatant mockery, Spectre. I will cleanse this place. Anyone? I will. Falters. What? What is this sorcery? Explain thyself. Ha <laughs> ha! I made you move. Now I can make you stop. Do not overstay your welcome, Sonny. Can't we all just get along? Sure. Do that in your spare time. For now, I'm going to lock this upstanding fella in the basement. Let young Kay sort it out. All right, Goldie. Right, left, right, left. Yeah, leave me be, wretched ghost. I command you to... Hey there. What can I get you? Uh, just some tea, please. Sure thing. Give me a sec. Hmm. I sure could use some rest and recreation. Peace. Quiet. Just what I needed. Ah, yeah. Oh, a new face! What can I get ya? Wait, is that a dog? Is he wearing a tutu? Oh my gosh, you're so cute! Oh! <gasps> cute? You think he's cute? So magnificent! I found it after years of searching. The perfect place to set up my workshop. A place where style, dogs, and stylish dogs are truly appreciated. Oh, the blessed day! The hot magma burns with everlasting flames! Um, is everything okay? It could not be better, kind and handsome stranger. Handsome? But where are my manners? My name is Gunther. Well, young man, will you shake my hand? as befitting the manly men that we are. Uh, hello, I I'm Kay. <coughs> oh, did it notice you? Good dog, good dog. <coughs> That's Heinrich. Isn't he the biggest, cutest bundle of joy? Aren't you, Heinrich? <coughs> he doesn't look particularly happy about his getup. Nonsense! Heinrich and I have been together since forever. I know his moods better than anyone. We're artists of metal, looking for new inspirations for our trade. Our homeland is sadly a bit... dull in that area. Artists of metal? So you're a blacksmith? I prefer to think of myself as a creator first, and a craftsman second, good sir. Incidentally, the frown line over here has convinced me that this is the place. The city where we will be able to enjoy life's finer aspects at last. Frau what? Is that some kind of food? Unbridled creativity. Great minds bending raw materials to their views. Isn't it exhilarating? Uh, okay. Well, it just so happens that I'm the ruler of this city. We could certainly use a skilled blacksmith. You? Oh, magnificent! Handsome and influential! <laughs> but if we are to channel our hot passions onto cold steel, we're going to need a decent smithy. Can you arrange that, good sir? Leave it to me. Excellent! <laughs> then we'll stay here until this house of splendors is completed. Oh, I can promise you right now, you're going to have the most wondrous equipment in all of the realms. <laughs> Isn't that right, Heinrich? Hey there. Hello. I've been told that you wanted to speak with me? Those two blondies brought you up to speed, huh? They're my sisters. Yes, I thought as much. But let's cut to the chase. 
I'm Alice. I was probably born in Shadu, but it's hard to tell with people like me, as dumb as it sounds. I don't tend to dwell on it, nor do I care. I travel a lot, mostly, and voluntarily. I guess I'm kind of sorta on the run right now. But if there's one thing you should trust about me, it's that I'm not a criminal. Instead... Hold on. What did you mean, people like me? Ah, well, I was getting to that. I was hoping to butter you up before we got to the subject. See, I'm a kindling. <sighs> yeah, this is your cue to scream. Oh, uh, what now? Huh? You don't know? Well then! Basically, she's a natural-born wizard. Normally, magic requires years of practice, discipline, and effort. But every once in a while, a person may be born with a gift. They wield magic like they breathe. Spontaneously. Why have you been eavesdropping? Point is, kindlings get a bad rap, and it's not hard to see why. They're like a sugar-crazed kid with a razor. All the power, none of the limitations. There's plenty of room for things to go wrong. Wow, graphic. I see you've done your research, Miss Pissy. Would you just stop calling me that? At least I don't dress like a cheap stripper. What? You spoiled little... All right, ladies, let's all take a deep breath here and... Scratch pad. Push up. Circus freak. Aw, you know that last one was weak as shit. Uh, uh, ahem. And ladies, would you please just calm the hell down? Let's go back to that part about you being drunk with unlimited power. That sounds troublesome. I can't speak for other kindlings or whatever they choose to call themselves. The way I see it... It's just a big, dumb label that attracts way too many kooks. Hell, I spent half my life running away from kooks. And I'm tired. I need a breather. Place to kick back for a while and not worry about crazies trying to scout me for no sane reason. That's not criminal, is it? Ah, you want shelter then? That's what I said, yeah. Gwen? Sure, let's invite a literal living bomb under our roof. After all, we already have a canned dead guy and a naked bushwoman. Might as well complete the collection. You're mocking me. No. Uh, I'll have to take a leap of faith here, won't I? Well, it'd certainly be considerably easier to just burn you all. But surely you can see how that wouldn't necessarily turn out to be the wisest choice? Don't you worry. I'm used to having to earn one's trust. I take it I don't need to ask whether you can defend yourself. If I focus hard enough, I can make your head explode. I'll take it as a yes. Well, that's good enough for me. Welcome aboard, Lady Alice. Great. Now, if you excuse me, I think I saw a bearded woman around the corner. Oh, Gwen. I apologize for her. Nah, don't sweat it. She'd grouch herself to death without someone like me. Let's go. This is the guy? Yeah, though he seems to have calmed down by now. Who dares? Well, scratch that. The insolent girl returns to torment me once more. Where's your spectral underling, child? If you think you can break my will, my flesh, you... Oh, right. You were right. He is crazy. Be careful, Kay. What is this? Another child? Come to mock me about my confinement, boy. I'm Kay of House Lauren. As confusing as it sounds, somehow you ended up holed in my basement. And I'd like to know why. You would presume to command me. What authority do you wield? Um, uh, well, I'm the lord of these lands, and this castle. Words. I don't want to bicker. Surely you can agree that this is totally unexpected for both parties. Can we help each other out? Hmm. You know, Kay, maybe we should... You know the ghost from before? <laughs> That's my grandfather, and I could ask him to do something to coerce you. Say... How do you feel about song and dance? Maybe a funny skit in front of a large audience? 
You wouldn't. Try me. This is outrageous! Do you expect me to suffer all that belittlement without retribution? Song and dance. Uh, uh, bully! To make me choose between my principles and my dignity! I just want to know what's your deal. Tell me what I need to know, and we'll forget about the whole thing. Very well. My name is Azaleus Castor Levant. Know that I am... was a member of the Knight's Aurum of Lordemar. As you can see, I am not quite dead, stuck in a condition that I find infuriating. Beyond that, there is little I could tell you. It seems I may have been slumbering for quite a long time. Yes, about that. How did you end up here? I remember an order. An order? I was told to keep watch. Hold this spot. Do not budge until you are told otherwise. So I did. But where? Who said that? Hmm. Oh, wait. You don't mean to tell me. That order was never revoked. I can't tell whether that's really tragic or really dumb. But what made you return? What made you cling to the world of the living? Maybe he was just too stubborn to die. What? I'm not kidding. Grandpa mentioned that spirits tend to linger if their resolve is strong enough. Or they have an unfulfilled purpose. So you think he had a very strong reason to keep going? I don't know, but it seems possible, right? Maybe a personal oath of some kind. Does any of this make sense to you, Mr. Knight? If you must know, it is not uncommon for Knights of Lordemar to swear oaths and vows. And sure enough, I had my vow, yes. Tis a poor will that never faces contest, but to think it would bar my passage! Alack, the heavy day! What was it? And why would I tell a mewling scallion like you? There he goes again. All right, enough. We get it. You don't want to talk. I'm sorry about your condition, and I wish you all the best. You're free to go. Wait. One more thing. What year is it? According to the Inixonian calendar, 1107. <sighs> is he all right? I don't know. Maybe we should poke him with a stick? Four centuries. It has been four centuries. I never wish to remain in that world, nor do I wish to do so now. Yet here I am, a stranger in a strange land. Everything's changed. Everyone. Such a cursed fate to befall a man. Why, why, why? Uh, dark. What? Just what am I supposed to say to that? This guy's got issues. Gee, way to be empathetic, big bro. Not, uh, um... <laughs> uh, well, y you know, uh... Times may have changed, but Lordemar has stayed untouched. You can still go home. After all, there's nothing keeping you here, right? Go and fulfill your oath, whatever it may entail. Look, I feel for you, but... Yes, I shall fulfill my oath. For that purpose, I now pledge myself to you, Kay of House Lauren, for the time being. Wait, what? Indeed, but make no mistake. In all things, I serve the Morning Crown first and foremost. Tis merely an alliance of convenience, nothing more. I shall burn, sear, and maim your foes. But I shall not be your underling. So state your wishes, for now. I feel like this discussion has just skipped a logical step or two. Yeah. How do we go from righteous outrage to him forcing his way into our ranks? Ask him. I bet there's a cool reason behind it all. What if he attacks me? He doesn't seem like the patient sort. Hmm. Could happen. We must rethink our strategy. I am standing right here, you know.
The duckling approaches me. Uh, got a second, Signy? I have some stuff I'd like to run by you. Certainly. <sighs> huh? Is something wrong? Excuse me for a moment. What the hell? A woman? <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Sneaky little marlin. An unconventional prey. One so bold to hide in the den of predators. Hello to you too, Signy. You know my name. Naturally. After all, you're the famed Beast of Rashdil, no? That's what the locals used to call you anyway. And you're Sir Kay of House Lauren, no doubt. The current Lord of Escalia. You sure know a lot. Who are you? My name is Mirian Arlethine, but please call me Miri. I'm an adventurer and explorer, sometimes writer. Maybe you've heard of my work? No? Well, doesn't matter. Basically, I go where other people don't want to go, to see it with my own eyes and write about it. The world is too awesome to be afraid if you ask me. Really? Is there a name for such a line of work? I don't know. I like to call myself a Pathfinder. Right. Okay. It's all fine and well, but there's still something you have to explain first. You mean the whole hide-and-seek shenanigans? Yes, I'm sorry about that. See, I came to Rashdil upon hearing rumors of the fabled beasts. Grandiose rumors, mind you. I thought to myself, why not see it with my own eyes? What if I managed to track it, study it, perhaps even reach an understanding? Wouldn't it make a fascinating discovery? Imagine my surprise when the beast turned out to be... Well, you know. You and me both. <laughs> Make no mistake, this was well worth the effort. Even if it wasn't what I expected. We barely know anything about the Dead West or the Kelra, their lives, customs. Essentially, it became a perfect opportunity to delve a little bit deeper. Are you saying you've been stalking her? I, uh... Well, choose your next words wisely, Martin. Anyway, it's a fascinating field of study. An untouched culture. Isn't that exciting? I guess. So what do you think? Is that a yes? Huh? Well, given the wealth of opportunities here, I thought it was obvious. I'd like to move in. Oh, so you're looking to stay in Escalia? For a while, yeah. Even though her migration is not yet complete, a wandering bird would need a feeder, yes? Signy's right. If you want to stay, you can't just monkey around like that. You'll need a proper house. Hmm. Now that I think about it, considering the original source, that's a pretty ironic observation. I won't need much. Just a roof and some extra space to keep the spoils. Though I suppose a warm bed wouldn't hurt. Alright, I'll see what I can do. In the meantime, would you consider staying at the placeholder? It's our local inn. Sure thing, Chief. But no stalking! The prey will keep distance, yes? Oh, but of course. I'll be extra careful, you can be sure of that. So what have we learned, Ellie? Ahem. <clears throat> Although the debt has increased greatly over extended periods of time, under current evidence, the originator and largest contributor appears to have been Duke Woodrow Lauren. Known to his descendants as Duke Odette, Woodrow the Wastrel and Worthless Woody, his extensive spending habits, lack of financial restraint, and mismatched faith in gambling led to Escalia's then unprecedented financial crisis. Atta girl. Everything seems to be pointing to that one sucker. The first of many a Lauren to make terrible life choices. We don't know that for sure. You said it yourself. The debt got only worse with time, right? Regretfully, that's all we have for now. Which means... Yep. More digging. Uh... Let's see. Way to go. That's great. Oh, neat. Uh.
Right. All right, people, we're past the first deadline, but that won't mean much if we don't pick up the pace. I doubt Crucy is going to remain lenient for long. I see you've been busy with your digging. Don't get your hopes up. There wasn't as much as you'd think. A lot of really important stuff seems to be missing. Presumably destroyed or moved. Quite understandable. It has been a long time, after all. Damn. However, it wasn't an entirely useless ordeal. We may have found a new set of options. Huh? Such as... A whole lot of privileged, pampered, good-for-nothing and name-only kin that would surely jump on the first chance to gnaw on scraps of your newfound title. Basically, she's saying that maybe we should ask some distant relatives for help. That family tree you found made us think. Back in the day, those high noble families used to intermarry, scattering around the world. We're part of the club now, right? What if we had someone like that? And it turns out we do. How distant of a relation are we talking about here? Well, since our records are still vastly incomplete, it's kind of hard to connect all the dots. But it shouldn't be anything too close for comfort. Think of it as a shared web of resources and information. Who knows, maybe Mr. and Mrs. Embretto know something we don't. So your shared history will be a leverage. Exactly. So yeah, we'll probably send like a hundred or so letters to random people we've never met asking for their help. That many, huh? Sure, why not? We don't have much to go on. Who knows, maybe it's worth a shot. What's the worst that could happen anyway? You mean aside from needy cousins moving here to mooch off of you for the rest of your life? <laughs> that won't happen, right? Sire, if I may. Hey, the door is locked. Don't just stare, Bob. Put your shoulder to it, Ram! Ram! Ah, my arm! Uh, it's open? What is the meaning of this? Who are you people? Aha! So you're the supposed king we've heard so much about, huh? Actually, that's me. Wait, you? This young man? I didn't vote for him! He ain't looking like the old king. Of course he doesn't. Do you even remember the old king? Uh, black hair, beard, sandals. That was supposed to be rhetorical, you don't. You weren't even born then. Will you cut it out? This is important. And nope. Still not mingling with peasants. Come on, big bro. At least hear them out. So, um, I'm not sure king is really the right word here. But still, yes, I'm sort of the lord around these parts now. How can I help you? Aha! I imagine he's not the king! Shut your gabber already! My legs hurt. Can we go home? Ahem. <clears throat> My name's Addie, and we are the Unity. Since apparently you are our new liege, it is time to make our presence known. By the people, for the people. We speak as one. Yeah, we want bread and booze. Oh, I don't take confined space as well. The walls, man, they're closing in. The point is... If you want us to respect your rule, then you have to act like a ruler. We won't let some wannabe lordling just come over and mess up our lives. I don't ever recall seeing you around. You're not from the town, are you? But we could be. Classy scum! Reshatil isn't just the things in your city, you know. There's a whole bunch of outlying homesteads and settlements out there. Not really a nation, true, but people will still look up to you. You're the only big shot left around. The only semblance of government. Which means, technically, that you're still responsible for our well-being. We are your subjects, and we demand proper representation. Yeah, care for us! Booze or bust! Justice for all! Ugh, for the love of... Can't we just cudgel the riffraff and call it a day? Hear that? She frightened us! Help, help, I'm being oppressed! Easy, boys. I mean, sure, you can. Go ahead. Swing that bat. But let me put it this way. You throw us out, and we'll come back. In numbers. With torches and pitchforks. We treat our rulers very seriously, you see. No free pass for a Lauren. 
Wait, so you're blackmailing us? This is ridiculous. Do you people expect just to come here, stomp around, and get your way? Our previous king never complained. Oh, yeah? Haven't we just talked about how it's impossible for you to know that, you silly unbeg? I read stories. You can't read! Bruh, I know them anyway, I do. My grandpa always used to say that things were gravy when old Robbie ruled. Old Robbie? Oh, yeah, outhouses made of gold, I hear. And a butter churn in every home. Ah, those were glorious times indeed. Well said. Well, lad, why can't you be more like old Duke Robert? Uh... Hmm. Now that you mention it, give us a moment, will you? I don't even know what's going on anymore. Maybe they're doing a sketch routine? <clears throat> we, the Unity, have decided as follows. It seems clear to us that you are young and likely unfit to rule. We want you to prove your worth to your people. Or leave. Oh, believe me, if I could. Stay! Stay now, now! The lads raise a good point. Your ancestors did a mighty fine job of driving people's trust into the ground. So yeah, if you want to keep warming that throne, prove to us that you're worthy of Duke Robert's lineage, boyo. Stay! Stay back. Back. We'll be back. Man up and watch your step, or we'll unleash some sweet pitchfork justice. People of the Unity, roll out! That was... something else. Seriously, just how many people are going to make demands? I understand your bewilderment, Lady Gwen. But still, for good or worse, they're our people. Go fight a dragon or something, Griffith. See if I care. Ugh. Gods, I want to punch something so bad right now. I think we've had enough implied violence for one day. Uh, all right, our problems are mounting. Thoughts? They mentioned a duke. Duke Robert, I think? It seemed like they used to hold this man in great esteem. I say this is an opportunity. The ancestries of House Lauren required our attention one way or another, correct? Perhaps an investigation is in order. That makes sense, yes. If learning about this man would open a way to placate the unity, I don't see why not. And? And I would like you to look into it. And, uh, there's also that letter business we talked about. You can count on us! Lovely. Oh my! Uh... Okay... <laughs> Here, your tasks will be... them, I think. No more letters for the time being. Excellent. So what now, sis? Now we wait for their replies. Let's hope for the best. Honestly, I don't think we'll get much attention. If there's one thing that paupered nobles really hate to expend, it's help. You would know best. What was that? Nothing. Junk. Junk. Junk, junk, junk. Seriously, can't these people do anything but politely decline? I know. What exactly does unapologetic and adamant refusal of proposal mean anyway? Wait, that one looks interesting. Grand Chancery? Mm-hmm. Excellent. We can use this. Huh? Our second cousin, once removed, mentions a grand archive slash library near the Lord Marian border. A neutral office of trust, tended by alkalites of Lunius. The God of Treaties? 
so it's a temple? Well, times have changed, but I guess it is. If bureaucracy was a god, and had priests. Anyway, not important. The point is, it's a giant stockpile of old, stuffy information. Just what we need. Oh, gods, please tell me you don't want us to go there. Hell no. We'll patch it through to our boys. Let them bore themselves to death for a change. <laughs> Okay, time to look at hard facts. Out of the 21 letters we sent out, 20 returned with a response. Anything that vaguely has ties to House Lauren, be it in Ostberg or at the Great Border, received a letter describing our situation. Pretty much nobody cared enough to do anything of substance. What about those nice folks in Esther? Weren't you eager to hear from them? Remember when I told you about getting 20 out of 21? Oh. Yeah. On the upside, Kay is going to get his royal ass buried in papers. So it wasn't a total waste of time. Poor Kay. Oh, would you prefer to go in his stead? Me, I'm going to take a well-deserved break. <sighs> what? No. Sounds good to me. Rightly so. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Wait, what? Is this... Finally! This definitely looks like the Archives. Bumbling and blundering through seems to have worked indeed. Hey, given our situation, I'll take any shreds of luck we can get. This'll take some time. <laughs> Welcome to my parlor, little morsels. Have you come to play? <laughs> Wondrous! Really? Who talks like that? Show yourself, foul villain! Oh, but I will! Have at thee! This didn't go well at all. Well, I meant well. <laughs> Damn it. Young master? Yes, Griffith? This person was not a villain at all. In indeed. Not even mini boss material. Hey, what? <clears throat> what is that 
supposed to mean? I am evil. Respect me! Weirdness sure follows you, young master. Not that I wanted to be that way. Uh, shall we look into the documents? Stop ignoring me! Would you mind? We're looking for some really important family documents here. Documents? Wait, so you're not here to vanquish me? Why would we want to do that? Well, I assumed that you were heroes sent here by the local populace, no? Surely my campaign of terror is finally paying off? Campaign of terror? Um, hello, the whole vampire thing? Vampire? Where? Come out, foul beast! Ah, bollocks. Me! It's me! I'm a vampire! Are you sure about this? I assumed you were just, you know, sun deficient. Yes, I'm sure! I'm also sure I would get apoplexy right now if I wasn't, <laughs> you know, already dead! Okay, so can we look for our stuff now? I'll naturally go right- uh, wait, wait, wait! No! Halt! Lauren, Lauren, Lauren- no, nothing. Nothing in sight here either. Given the sheer volume of material, are you sure this is an efficient approach, Master K? No, but there doesn't seem to be a better solution. Um, actually, there is. You said Lauren, right? Purple section, shelf that third row, collection number uh, 398D. What? I was bored! What else was I supposed to do around here for 60 years? There it is! The file with the family crest! D.R.L. Duke Robert Lauren! Dare I say jackpot? Excellent find, young master. Wait, and those? Are those sketches? Building plans? Look here. This is oddly reminiscent of the layout of our castle. Hmm. Well, in any case, no point in lingering here. I say we bring those back home and let the girls take a closer look at it. Very well. Wait! Uh, aren't you forgetting something? Like what? Well, me. I've been living, or rather, unliving, a lie. It's clear that this was a poor choice for a villain's lair. Nobody ever comes here. Not even the priests. Just what am I supposed to do now? Take me with you. I know I might have not made the best first impression, but give me a chance. Please, I need some fresh material. It's so hard to be evil these days. While I cannot endorse his motivation, I have to admit there's some refreshing enthusiasm to his actions. That and he did help us. I'm starting to think Gwen might be right about me. All right, but you gotta pull your own weight. What are your skills? I can give you a perm. Oh, and I can comb a nice fringe. What? You see, I, Theophilianis von Totenkrus, have always wanted to be a hairdresser, but fate dealt me a cruel hand. My vampiric condition did not mesh with my destined profession, so I chose evil. Part of the image, no. Um, I don't think you're doing a very good job at it. I know! That's why I need your help! Just a small chance, that's all I'm asking for, noble sir. Ah, such a riveting tale of crushed dreams and forlorn hopes. This definitely calls for proper action. Okay, okay, you're in. You won't regret this, sir. Let's go then. Yeah, I'm telling you, for the last time, you can't set up shop here. This is a well-established business zone. Nobody needs your services. Hmm. <sighs> is that so? I mean, potions, notions, elixirs? That's so six centuries ago. Who needs those anymore, am I right? We understand each other, yes? No, I do not understand. <sighs> well, watch my fingers, for I'm about to send you one very clear mess. Gentlemen, is there a problem? <laughs> no, no, not a problem at all. Uh, just a casual chat. There is no need to get involved at all, Sir Lauren. Sir Lauren? As in Lord K. Lauren? 
Or might you be the one in charge? <sighs> Sometimes I talk too much. Indeed, that's me. And you are? I am a scientist. That's... vague. It's a matter of ethos. I believe in science. I exercise science. Hence, I am a scientist. I'm a dirty competitor. What might that science be? Alchemy! I brew concoctions for any and every occasion. As questions, as answers, as problems, as solutions. There's a difference between a swamp herbalist and a devoted alchemist. I am proud to emphasize that difference. I see. And what does an alchemist require of me? A place to practice my trade. My previous laboratory imploded on all known planes of existence. An unfortunate kerfuffle among my assistants. Nothing overtly lethal, still unfortunate. Hmm, a potion brewer. An alchemist, I insist. Right. Well, I'd certainly be glad to have you. I think an alchemist would be an excellent addition to our town. But try not to blow up anything this time, okay? Fear you not. Mistakes have been made. Mistakes won't be repeated. No assistance this time. It's easy to handle such delicate substances by myself. Let's hassle, too. This is excellent. You are excellent. This decision is excellent. Everything is excellent. I'll get to work right now. Wait, wait! Where are you going? We need to get you a proper lab first. Hmm. Consider staying at the inn, meanwhile. Ah, an inn. Does it have proper distillation facilities? I'm gonna lean toward no on this one. No matter. The end, then. I will wait. Uh, a moment again? It occurs to me that you never told me your name. Oh, my name? This is getting weird. Why do you sound surprised? Surely you must have a name. Yes. It's Riel. All right. Riel. Nice to meet you. You can go now. Man, does that mask creep me out. Hey, any luck out there? We found a batch of files belonging to Duke Robert. Surprisingly, a lot of it consists of sketches. Sketches? I think so. I wasn't able to make sense of it. Hmm. Can you take a look at it? You're better at this stuff than I am. <laughs> Please, you know it's important. Fine. After all, I volunteered anyway, I guess. Thanks a lot. And? Some files are missing, and I've likely overlooked certain things on such a short notice, but... It appears our Duke Robert Lauren was pretty well respected. Those family records constantly address him as Master Architect and the Great Constructor. Hell, he practically built this castle from the ground up. Oh, that explains the sketches. They were blueprints. That's right, but that's not the best part. In the end, those are just means to pay off that terrible debt. And with what you brought us, we may have uncovered something interesting. Oh? There's a missive about a vault being commissioned under the Duke's orders. These are his pointers on security measures he designed himself. Doesn't it strike you as something valuable? Where there's a vault, there's treasure. Even if you're onto something, there's no guarantee that it still exists. Truth be told, I'm skeptical as well. It may very well be a wild goose chase. But hey, okay, beggars can't be choosers. Also true. So then, what exactly do you suggest? I don't believe in golden tickets. But I'll try to look further into this when I get the chance. Now we know what questions should be asked, so we'll be able to hunt for more than a vague promise of help. Meanwhile, you just do your thing and soak the blows from Crucy and the Unity. Standard fare, really. Gee, thanks. Let's see. Everything seems to be in order. Indeed. Hey there! 
Can I get you anything? A glass of milk for me, please. Uh, just some tea? Sure thing. <laughs> Is everything all right? You seem worried, big bro. Sure I am. I'm still not convinced. About ruling Escalia? About everything so far. This all feels wrong. I'm no hero, and certainly no king. Just a guy in a wrong place at a wrong time. It's plain as daylight. Hell, even Levant can see that, and he has no eyes. But you're doing fine so far. But I can't really take credit for that, can I? It feels like you guys are doing all the heavy lifting, and I'm just a figurehead. I don't think so. Those Unity people may consider you worthless, but when they came knocking, you did everything in your power to satisfy them. Don't sell yourself short. <sighs> Look, Kay. Nobody said it was going to be easy. And even then, you're not alone. You have us. We're in this together, remember? You're right. No, you don't! Not again, mister! Now, now, surely we can talk about this. Uh, there's no need to be upset. Uh, can't you guys let this slide one last time? Huh? Kia, yeah, I think guess what? No! It's getting old. Just pay up, please. Ah, uh, see, uh, this might be a tad complicated. Mm. Or, uh, not. Ray, please don't hurt me. What's going on here? Oh, hello again. This strange person doesn't want to pay for his food. Ah, uh, now that's unfair. It's the fifth time, in a row. This proves nothing. But can't you just pay them? Nobody will harm you. Well, you see... You just don't have the money. Exactly. As you can see, I'm clearly the victim of this predicament. I don't think that's how it works. What are you going to do about him? Ugh, what else? Dad'll hand him over to you, right, Dad? Hmm. What? What what? Aren't you sort of important or something? I guess I am. Uh, you are? Wait, does that mean you're K of House Lauren? That's me. Wonderful. In that case, I pledge myself to your service, good sir. Wait, what? My name is Diego, though I come from the House Leonor of Tevides of Armelasse, more than anything else. I'm a simple traveler, searching for his place in the world. Hearing the tales of Ascalia's revival, I decided to contribute. Is that so surprising? Actually... So, uh, what do you think about my proposal? At this point, I don't see why not. It's not like we haven't had our share of weird people already. Um, no offense, of course. Excellent! Lead the way, then. You still have to foot the bill, though. God damn it. Your tasks will be...
the fancy signs and words, and yet here we are, standing in a moist, mossy dumpster. Figures. I take it you remain skeptical about this mystic. We've both seen our share of magic, haven't we? Whatever this is about, I'd say it reeks more of a cult instead. Yes, I agree. Although it strikes me as odd that a sinister cult would operate through something as trite as leaflets. Yeah, okay, but does this really look like a place of learning to you? Well, there is that thing. A uh, book? If we are going with the cult explanation, I would hazard a guess that it is a holy text of some kind. It certainly looks important. Hmm. Young master, is something the matter? Um, you'll think I'm crazy, but I swear that thing is silently judging us, Griffith. It's just so... Ominous. Nonsense. Perhaps we shouldn't open it? Please, young master. This is hardly the time to cave into trickery and superstition. <laughs> trickery and superstition? In a way, this is a quite generous assessment. I've heard much worse. Still... I cannot help but feel disappointed such esteemed guests would prove to be so close-minded. You must be the mystic we've heard so much about. The one behind the Enlightenment program? I know things, yes. Tis not a sin to share knowledge with others, my friends. I've seen much throughout my life, and seeing is belief. All gathered here in this book. The divine sum of my experiences, my personal path to salvation. I am more than willing to let others embrace these paths. It's magic then? To a certain extent. Meaning? Well, what you're describing or hoping for is spells. Potent formulas, yet merely a strain of a larger whole. I offer a different kind of insight. Your friend <laughs> doubts my words. What is it that troubles you, young man? I cannot help but notice you have a peculiar way of weaving words, Mr. <laughs> Bassanius. I suppose a degree of mistrust cannot be avoided. I do not wish to convert you, if that is what you fear. You are welcome, however, to study this book at your own leisure. It remains, all things considered, a tome of arcane power. Who knows? Maybe you can find something of use to you. Free of charge, I take it? Free of charge. And we can take the book, just like that. I only seek to spread my knowledge among the masses. Your call, young master. I am reluctant to put faith in this man, or his personal hygiene, but it is hard to deny that he poses no harm to us. Very well, let's see the book. Hmm, seems like a pretty regular book. Look, are those not scribbles? I wonder. Mr. Bassanius, What's special about this book again? <laughs> Kids these days, so gullible. <sighs> well, they're lost. <laughs> what the sh... <laughs> All right, let's calm down. We can fix this. What do we know, Griffith? Well, I am no expert on such things, but it would certainly appear that we somehow got sucked into that book. We got conned after all. But why? What does he stand to gain from this? Ah, to hell with that guy! The real question is, how do we get out? Hmm... <sighs> Hopeless, isn't it? 
I guess this is the part where we say goodbye to the world. You were supposed to disagree with me, Griffith. Well... What was that? It seems like the tome is not quite done with us yet. These conjured creatures, they cannot be real. Nevertheless, I think it is safe to assume that they can harm us all the same. Right, as if imprisonment wasn't enough. Let's fight our way through then. You see this, Griffith? More strangeness, no doubt. What may that be? Only one way to find out. What? How? But the only way for you to flee... Does that mean that you have vanquished the Grimoire's constructs? I think you owe us some explanation. And fast. Uh, hold on! <laughs> I didn't... I... I didn't... <laughs> It's, it's all a mistake, I swear, like a harmless mistake. Villain! Even now, in the very face of your deception, you would claim innocence? Are the lives of those you lead astray truly worth so little to you? Deceiving innocence is one thing, but trapping them for certain death? How foul can one man be? The magic of the grimoire is not lethal. Confounding, yes, but not lethal. Uh, the thing you fought, mere reconstructions, uh, pulled from the fragments of your psyche. In due time, you would have been spat out by the forces within. A little bruised, perhaps, but with a significant gap in your memory, but dead? No, no, no. Nobody ever dies. Those who come, those taken by the Grimoire, they return diminished, but that always subsides. But before their mind clears, you know, if they happen to be confused enough for me to willfully let go of their belongings, well, <laughs> too bad. You're still hurting people! Oh, well... There is always a certain amount of sham in shamanism. Those people I'm hurting believe what they want to believe. I can offer them no more and no less than what they are willing to accept in the first place. I do not seek them out. They come to me. What does that even mean? Well, it takes a certain degree of unhealthiness of the mind, shall we say, to seek out wisdom in places like these. I'm merely capitalizing on those needs. So you're admitting that all of this is fraudulent. You are not a sage, just a repulsive, opportunistic charlatan. You exploit people for your own gains and think no less of yourself for it. Is that it? No, 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 no. Well, kind of. Can we just slay him, young master? I am certain nobody would miss him. What? <laughs> I know you're not serious, Griffith, but your point stands. You are coming with us, Mr. Bassanius. As a member of House Lauren, I need to address this matter both personally and in accordance with the local law. Wait, 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 wait. Surely you cannot mean that. Let's discuss this. Even now, you would beg for a selfish pardon? No, no, no. I am more than just glib words, my outraged friend. For example, I can do this. More parlor tricks? He's gone. Huh. Must have been quite desperate. He left his book behind. Such a vile object. We cannot leave it here, young master, lest he shall return and continue his charade. Agreed. It's the least we can do. Pack it up and let's go. You've got to be joking.
<laughs> this is absurd. Pathetic. <sighs> well said. What? No. You've got to be kidding me. Surely you jest. Sure. Uh. 
Get, get their way from me! No need to worry. I'm a professional. I don't even know you. Right. Well, it's nothing personal. You need to relax. Take a deep breath and... Wait, what? What the hell is going on here? See, that's the kind of attention we don't really need. Move along, girl. Nothing to see here. I'm the lady of this castle. I'm not afraid of a thug with a knife. Oh? You've made some powerful friends, Diego of House Leonor. Hell, I'm impressed. Clever boy. Didn't suspect you of such cunning. Can you start making sense already? Well, sweetheart, I was contracted to hunt down this man. And being the consummate pro that I am, I intend to do just that. What did he do? Does it matter? Somewhere, someone wants him dead. Now, if there's nothing else... Wait, wait, uh, just wait, damn it. As much as I'd like you to off that sleazy son of a submariner. Son of a submariner? I'm going to insist on a no-kill, go-away policy. See, this is the estate of House Lauren of Escalia. You cannot do as you please. Well, that's not good. I have a job to do here, miss. I admire your dedication to your work. I suggest a deal. What? What? Between a beast girl, a guy in a bucket, and two dumbasses, a competent assassin sounds like something we could use. Now look. Of course, you can decline. But as much as I agree with your stance on things, I still won't allow you to kill anyone associated with our court. That's just bad press. Bad press? Lady, you don't know bad press. I'm a professional. I don't give up on my commissions as soon as he steps out of your care. Tough luck. You heard the lady. I'm not going anywhere. That's great, because neither am I. We're going to have all the time in the world, my good Diego. Uh... You boys work it out between yourselves, then. Ta-ta. Oh, uh, wait, uh, don't leave me with him. Don't let him kill me! <laughs> oh, poor Diego. You have no idea. Hey, greetings. Evening. UK Lauren. That's me. Gran. The name's Gren. Now look, your sister over there tells me you have a job for me. I said that a professional assassin like him would make an excellent addition to our roster of lunatics. Are you sure that's wise? Certainly fashionable at the very least. First thing, I prefer the term bounty hunter. Second, I am not some damn scrap beggar. You want me. You need to pay for me. Also, I'm kind of already in the middle of a job, so that'll cost you extra. I have my standards. Yes, I heard. You're after Diego. That's right. I'm here because of that Diego fellow. Right. So, you're gonna pay me or not? You know, Gwen, this is slightly odd, isn't it? It's a stalemate one way or another. But we could use it to our advantage. Just as we could use the talent of a consummate professional like himself. Fair enough. I trust he'll handle the payments? Sure, why not? Welcome aboard, Sir Gren. I'm no sir, sir. Welcome aboard, Gren. Hold the press. We may now be on to something. Huh? Those sketches Kay and company brought back are becoming more and more fruitful as we speak. Huh? All right. I will talk slowly. Am I getting through? You be sassing me, young lady? Both of you, focus. Remember how I told you about the vault commissioned by Duke Robert? Well, that didn't totally come out of left field. After some prodding, the previously silent Estir came through with bountiful information. An anonymous noble sent us an heirloom. An antique script that once belonged to a certain Lauren. Namely, Count Roderick Lauren. I've managed to verify the accuracy of that script. The script is definitely authentic, but the dates presented within don't really fit our currently established patterns. 
If anything, that means our Count must have lived before Duke Woodrow and Duke Robert. Um, that's nice and all, but... Wait, now's the good part. Apparently, Count Roderick was an obscenely rich man. The script makes it blatantly clear in numerous places. In his final days, he expressed a simple desire to make his life's greatest wealth outlive him. Undisturbed, naturally. So, given what we already know, I ask this. Why would Roderick's successor construct a vault? Wait, does that mean the treasure exists after all? The treasure vault is real? Exactly. That's great news! Kay will love to hear about this. I've already sent him a letter. A big pile of money waiting to be found. Ha! Now in my days, we had to earn the money through sweat and blood. We were dirt poor and proud of it. Everything's so much dumber now. What's next? Monsters carrying money on themselves? Give me a break, kiddos. I'm sorry, but what the hell? <laughs> What's with him? He's crankier than usual. Aw, don't be mad. He had a really bad day. He had a what? What's worse than being dead? What in the places? The toilet's clogged again? Serious. Waddle in your crap yourself, people. Well, that happened. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> Don't just stand there. Come over here. Would you give me a moment? I think I may have hit a mother load. Sure. <sighs> Found something? Yes! Look! It's a... rock. I know! Isn't it amazing? <laughs> Looks pretty common to me. Well, sure, there are many like it, but this one <laughs> is mine. The shape, the texture, the color. So subtle, yet so unique. I couldn't ask for a finer friend. What fun we shall have together. I'm going to pet him and hug him and name him George. <laughs> and, and, well, everything. <laughs> so I guess it's time to move now. Bye-bye. Wait, wait, wait. Aren't you forgetting about something? Huh? Well, like us. Oh, right. I'm so sorry, guys. Mm. So, yeah. Hey, I'm Winter. Nice to meet you. Odd name for an elf. It's the one my dad gave me, and sure, we could go by Vistra, the cold-footed. But that's a bit pretentious, don't you think? Elves are kind of humorless. Right. That didn't help, did it? I'm adopted. My parents found me in the middle of nowhere, and it kind of stuck. Both the name and the baby, that is. Anywho, T. Perhaps a cookie or two? No, thank you. I'd actually like to know more about you. There's not much to tell. <laughs> I'm a simple girl. I travel a lot, hoarding rocks and minerals. My dad was a miner, so maybe that rubbed off on me. When you said your dad was a miner... My human dad, yes. What about the other elves? They don't mind? Psh, what about them? I don't. Just because we all have pointy ears doesn't mean we have anything in common, you know. Well, aside from the Anim, that is. But it's all feelings and whispers, no biggie. If anything, it helps me find stuff better. It gets my memory sharper. Have I already offered tea? I forgot. A knack for finding resources sure sounds useful. Tell me, have you considered settling somewhere? On behalf of the city-state of Ascalia, I'd like to invite you to join us as our resource expert. Okay. What? Uh, really? <laughs> Just like that? Huh? Oh, yeah. I could use a hand with bringing my bouldery friends along. Four or five bags, <laughs> give or take. I, uh, I'm sure Griffith will be more than happy to help. <sighs> Whoa. 
What? Mr. Crucy, I wasn't told you were coming. My, how things change. Not that long ago, this place was but ashes and debris. Yet now, one can almost plant a foot without stepping in dung. Mr. Crucy? You have done a commendable job cleaning the verdigree. People are settling in. A modicum of trade has appeared. And you have rebuilt the castle and its surroundings in surprisingly adequate time, no less. We all try our best. Indeed. Which leads me to believe I may have to reconsider my approach to your debts. Oh? Your industrious actions made it clear that there was some unfortunate leniency in our agreement. Therefore, henceforth, the furtive union shall triple your monthly installments. What? Adversity brought great prospects out of this domain. Why lose the momentum? If anything, it will help you repay your obligations faster. But, but, but this is madness. Madness? This is business, Sir Kay. I shall contact you again in three months. Do not disappoint. Farewell. Oh, are you all right, Sonny? Uh, Just so you know, I heard everything. I always do. Even when you bathe and snore, and when you, well, do everything else. Uh, Quiet flank facing me, son. Rise and smell the ashes. We have a job to do. This isn't the end of the world, you know. We'll adapt. We can manage. And maybe, just maybe, look into that treasure that sister of yours mentioned, huh? We don't even know if that's a thing. Yeah, yeah, but I'd still try. Uh -huh. In the meantime, like I said, we'll have to adapt. Treasure or no, time's a waste. We'll have to work extra hard now. You really lived in a better time, didn't you? Ah, in my time, things were resolved at sword point. The only form of currency was a punch to the throat. Jolly good times indeed. Doesn't sound like I would enjoy them anyhow. Uh, enough of this jibber jabber. With what happened, I want you to... Busier than usual. I did say we were gonna work extra hard. So off you go! Fight the power! Or something. I need to talk to the rest first. And that's how it went. Ooh! The nerve on that man! What an outrageously unrepentant asshole! I swear, I don't know whether I want to murder or marry that bastard! Yeah. Moving on. There's no guarantee he won't pull that off again. Either we work ourselves to death or choose to pursue some risks. Gambling? Horse racing? Excessively brutal gladiatorial combat to the death? What? No! I'm talking about that whole ancient family treasure thing! Oh, right. It seems we have little choice. We must double our efforts. In the meantime, myth or no, we'll have to treat that treasure thing more seriously. Right. Still working on that. Nevertheless, we'll go deeper. Yep. If anything, Crucy's deeds prove you are doing something right, young master. Has he not told you that himself? You know, I'm pretty sure that was just to spite us. Also a possibility. Uh, at least those guys from the Unity won't pester us anymore. Aha! There you are! People of Unity, 
Assume the position. Griffith? Yes, Master K? Is there a god of bad luck? Why, yes. I believe certain regions of Minwei worship one. I feel like I need to subscribe to his newsletter. No more babbling. We're here on important business, yes we are. Bread! Gold! Coffee? Why the hell are you people here again? Haven't we done enough for you already? The voice of oppression speaks again! Oh, watch out, lady! Please, can't we all just calm down? Yes, we can. And yes, that's true. You proved a competent builder with that rebuilding effort of yours. Good job on that. He did. He did, you dolt. But this changes nothing. We won't be swayed by the government's blatant appeasement. Yeah! Whatever that means! Isn't that exactly what you asked us to do? Hm. But there is yet more to be done. You see, as a collective, we are not entirely convinced whether you can appropriately represent our ongoing goals and long-term interests. Someone's been hitting the thesaurus. What sort of long-term interests are we talking about here? You can build a house, that much is true. But can you build a consensus? What? I'm talking about governance, lad. A community needs someone to pass judgment, someone to bring down law, a voice to resolve our disputes. Are you a bad enough dude for that? Nah, I think not. So, if I understood it correctly, you want me to tell you what to think? No! Actually, yeah, that sounds pretty close to what I want, yeah. Come on, it's human nature. Don't you want to judge things? Not even a little bit? No. But I have a very important issue that needs solving! So do I! Yeah, even though I'm an able adult, I'm going to stand here and complain loudly until someone gives me a solution! All right, all right, I'll do it. Ugh, that's great. Because, purely by accident, of course, we have a case just for you. Is that the only reason why you came here in the first place? Way to get no respect, Kay. Hey, cut me some slack, will you? It's not like I'm in a position of power that will enable me to actively gain their... Oh. Hmm. May I? Out there, there's a damn huge patch of contested land. It's an arable gold mine waiting to happen. Waiting, mind you. It isn't being used. Why is that? Uh, you see, there's a problem with ownership. Two rival families claim to have settled the land long, long ago and both treat it like their own. The end result is... Nobody really uses it. Junk is flying high and low, folks refuse to listen, and good lands are wasted. That's not good at all. Anyhow, this is where you need to lay down the smackdown, Mr. Lauren. This dung's been going on for far too long. You should meet with them and talk some common sense straight into their heads. Here, I'll show you on the map. What makes you think they'll listen? You're the fat cat here. That's your power, your mojo. Also, we tried to get a Shadurian philosopher to talk sense to them, but it ended in a tar and feather treatment. He screamed like a little girl! Or so I heard. Well, that's it. Good luck, you! People of Unity? Wait, I still don't know- well, in fact, I don't know anything at all! Just go there and be kingly. Let real life sort things out, you know? Like your grand somethings. People of Unity, roll out! Mark my words, this is not the last time we've heard from them. The noose tightens. Again. Hey, will of the people, right? Time to get to work. What on earth? What happened here? This is disturbing. Proceed with care, young master. What's this? A rock of some sort? How do you think it got here? Perhaps it fell from the sky, disrupting the proceedings. I don't think that was the case. There's something odd about this rock. Uh, I finally managed to take a nap, and not a minute later, something comes out of the woodwork to poke me in the ass. Figures. Hello there, little humans. Anything I can help you with? Wow! By the gods! Are you a dragon? 
Actually, I'm an iguana. Once upon a time, I stumbled upon a smokehouse and ate too much bacon, hence my size. What the hell, guys? Of course I'm a dragon. What do they even teach you in schools these days? <laughs> so, anyway, what's up? Are you the one behind the wanton destruction here? Sure thing, boss. Those dudes with pitchforks came here on their silly wagons right on the doorstep of my home and shouted and argued and made a big stinking noise. I hate when they do that. My migraine starts acting up. So I came out and politely asked them to move. Then they started shouting even louder. There might have been a rock or two, or ten, so I ate them all. Makes sense, right? How utterly vile! I know, the taste was terrible. This cannot stand! Right, young master? Young master? It appears my employer may have been frozen due to utter terror. Hey, whatever floats your boat, as long as he's not screaming. So, are you going to fight me or something? If not, I'm gonna ask you to leave. It's rude to interrupt a nap like that. Indeed we will! Have at you! Wait, hold on for just a second. Young master? This dragon doesn't exactly strike me as evil. Don't you think he's a rather amiable fellow? He's eaten innocent people! Well, yeah, but it doesn't seem like they were very friendly in the first place. I still say we slay him. Th that's a rather extreme measure. I'm standing right here, you know. You said that you asked them to move? Yup. I even tried chatting with that fancy tall-hatted fellow. That's how humans denote authority, right? By the size of their hats. Anyway, he wasn't too thrilled. And then they started throwing rocks at you? Usually, I don't mind. This stuff happens all the time. For some reason. Hmm. When the news gets out, people will not take lightly to all this havoc. Yet what happened was a misunderstanding, and there's no need for further violence. I'm not saying what he did was justified, nor that it was reasonable, but allowing both sides to duke it out will end extremely poorly. That is true. Well, what can I say? I can't deny I'm a grouch, boss. I just want to be left alone. Is that so bad? <laughs> In that case, you need to work on your patience, Sir Dragon. What shall you do, young master? Well, we were supposed to negotiate, right? Then we will negotiate. I do not follow. So tell me, did you eat everyone? No survivors? What? No. I'm a dragon, not a pig. I have my standards, thank you. If you're looking for those other fellows, you'll find them in a village over the hill. Short walk, pleasant scenery. Uh, my thanks, Sir Dragon. Let's go, Griffith.
<sighs> now that everyone has left and we can talk, that went uncharacteristically well, don't you think? You can say that again, young master. Truth be told, I was honestly amazed by how you handled this ordeal. A satisfying conclusion without bloodshed? I just didn't think them hitting each other would do any side any good. Your father would be proud. I... Thank you, Griffith. Hey guys. I, uh... I just wanted to say that I'm thankful for what you've done. For smelly, squishy, noisy humans, you're alright. Don't mention it. By the way, your smell, it's different than what I remember, but you mentioned you were of House Lauren, right? What of it? Nothing. I just thought, well, aren't you fellows supposed to be dead? Huh? I knew a Lauren once. Upstanding chap, all regal, all diplomatic. Eyes like bronze, words like silver, that sort of thing. Funny that it was you who came to broker an agreement. He would have done just the same. Can you tell me anything more about that Lauren? His name was Elrin, Elrond. Something like that. In my youth, I was a brazen, hot-headed lizard. People feared me, but he didn't. He offered me a place to stay. This place, in exchange for a share of my old hoard. And before you ask, no, I don't possess that hoard anymore. It wasn't much, but as I recall, he was desperate. Something about paying off a debt incurred by his idiotic ancestor. That sounds oddly familiar. He wanted to use that gold to marry into a wealthy clan from the land of Arlen, and go all robber baron on their precious resources. And he almost made it happen. Ironically, he died at sea while traveling to meet his would-be bride. They never secured the deal. What happened? I do not know for sure, though I remember hearing stories about a storm of the century. Poor Saad must have paddled right into it. <laughs> Destiny is one terrible tragedian. So, did you guys ever pay off that debt? To be honest, we were really hoping you could help us with that. Sins of the past, still haunting the present. Poor, poor humans. All waxing poetic aside, I'm afraid I can't help you. I know nothing about your debt. Damn. However, I do know he was planning to visit his summer estate afterwards. Said he needed to show his ancestor's most prized possession to his brand new wife. A summer estate? Lady Elaine and Lady Gwendolyn have never found anything pertaining to a summer estate. Most prized possessions? Perhaps this is where the treasure vault was built. Sir Bakuri, do you know the location? Uh, sorry, boss. We'll have to investigate on our own then. You have our greatest thanks, noble Sir Bakuri. Good luck, little humans. Oh my! Let's see. Way to go. Again, why are we here? It's just snow. It's beautiful. It's cold. Would you believe that a year has passed already? Funny how things worked out. We're not out of the woods yet, Kay. This is ridiculous. I'm going to go back to my warm castle and make myself some warm tea and grab a warm blanket or two. Have fun freezing your toes off. Bit of a grouch, isn't she? Not exactly new and exciting news. She made a decent point, however. It is getting slightly cold. Uh, And by slightly cold, I mean really cold. Alright, alright, I get it, we're leaving. 
Um, guys? Thank you for everything you've done so far. Have faith, young master. <laughs> Jilly, Jilly, what took you so long? Did a gnome mole you halfway or something? I... Uh, I guess it was called after all. Kill me now. Ah, uh, my sinuses. The elite of our Slorin, ladies and gentlemen. What on earth made you think taking dreamy strolls outside right now was a good idea? What kind of idiot would it take? Hmm. At least you're here, I guess. Clean up your act and listen. The objectives for your next three months shall be... And, uh, just so you know, tissues exist. Also, those Unity fellows dropped by again. I think they were kind of surprised to see a ghost, but who cares anyway? Their leader is rather keen to speak with you. Have faith, young master. Perhaps they're finally <laughs> ready to recognize your supreme authority. <laughs> that said, I really need to lie down. Same. Ah, it's, it's I want to tell her to come tomorrow. My nose is killing me. Kids these days. Fragile twins, all of them. Please. <laughs> Fine. Just... Whatever you do, do it gently. Sorry to ask, but are you alone? That's very unusual for you. No offense. I thought we had to talk this through face to face. I'm all ears. You see, not a week ago, something began to happen to folks near the Jatir Cove. Cattle began vanishing without explanation. Some homesteads burned down, also seemingly without rhyme or reason. Hell, that's not the end of the weirdness. Some people claim that trees themselves moved when nobody's looking. And yeah, sure, you may say, stuff like that happens all the time. After all, it's rational. Normally, we'd grab a club or two and beat everything into submission, or blackmail you into beating everything into submission, or whatever. This time, however, it's a bit more complicated. I don't see how. Elves, lad. Elves? Elves. Um, and? Old Red ran into one of them while taking a stroll through the woods. He swears he's never had to run so fast in his life before. I still don't understand the issue. We've had dealings with elves before. No, no, not these. Different coterie, you see. Whatever deals you may have had do not really apply to these fellers. And elves are bad news. Very bad news. So how can I help? Like I said, normally we'd rally around and open a can of good old-fashioned whoop-ass, but... Damn it, I may get riled up all too easy, but I sure as hell am not suicidal. So instead, you decided to come to me? Yep. Because I'm reliable? Sure, let's go with that. And disposable. Exactly! I'm glad you understand. As disturbing as it sounds, I promise that we'll try to investigate. at Unity will be glad. You know, it's kind of nice that someone's finally fixing all this surrounding mess. Who knows? Maybe things will actually get better. Try not to die, will ya? We have arrived. Seems pretty peaceful to me. Perhaps the tales of all the supposed shenanigans were exaggerated. <laughs> well, here's our answer. Shall we, Griffith? Always. Human intruders. Bold move to come here after what you've done. Tell me, cowardly one. Will you return our oars? Or will there be blood? No, I'm lord of these lands, and... Wait, what are you talking about? Words! No words. Turn away, manling. 
or I will cut you like the pig that you are. Uh, please, I just want to know what's going on. On my honor, I promise that House Lorne will neither harm nor disturb you. Our subjects claim that you've been harassing their livestock. All I want is some answers. Lauren? That's me, K of House Lorne. Lauren, ha! You wear a familiar name, manling. But the Anum knows not of you. What mask lies upon thee? Huh? Amusing. Very well. Let us play. Hold on to your mask. We shall, in turn, don the masks of gracious hosts. You've come for answers, brain fever. Then answers you will get. Follow. They're here. Good. We are... I know who you are, Manly. You came to talk, so do not waste your breath on prattle. The Coterie will hear you out, as our guests. I didn't mean to offend, I just wanted to know why you were harassing the villagers. The Gull! What kind of question is that? Our hands are tied, and your cohorts are the force that tied them. Please, explain. The Coterie was never intended to linger in these woods for long. Our sights were set elsewhere, far beyond the eyes of Lysos orphans. Initially, we merely set up a temporary camp to replenish supplies. Yet before we could get back on the boat, some fat, useless, nitwit subject of yours decided to steal our oars. Wait, that's it? A villager stole your oars? But why? And where are they now? The Coterie does not know. Until they are found, we are grounded. The Anam grows restless. Until now, we have kept our peace, merely raiding for food. But we tire of inaction. The tribute for insolence will be paid in blood. Yeah, uh, well... If we seek out and return those oars to you, will you leave in peace? Hmm. Will you? Yes. That would be acceptable. After all, we owe something to the Lauren name. What do you mean? A story for another time. Very well. Then we shall depart. The eyes of the Coterie shall be upon you, Brain Fever. Play your role well. Brain Fever? All right. I've sent for you because we need to talk. Your leader told me that the elves became a nuisance suddenly and without provocation, but apparently you haven't told me the whole truth. What happened to their oars? Oh, that. Oars? I wasn't there. Oars? Well... It clearly didn't happen, but I vaguely remember that they were moved. Well... Uh, yeah, we kind of did. But why would you steal their stuff? Now they're unable to leave. It was self-defense. They'd attack us otherwise! We needed a sacrifice. Sacrifice? There's this rock in the woods, yeah? West of the grove, people say it's magic. That it is alive and grants wishes. My grandpa says it fell from the sky, it did! So we kind of give things to it and sing and dance and do stuff, you know, so that it may bless us, yeah? What? Oh, yeah, and we maybe may have given them oars to the rock, you know, so that it would destroy them elves before they could do harm. So you stole their oars and hoped that they would go away. That's right, miss. And you haven't thought that taking their oars would make them unable to go away? Uh... Again, what? Hey, don't blame us! We did all we could! Yeah, you can't make an omelette without breaking a few eggs, you know? Flawless logic. Never mind the fact that you gave the oars to a rock. Yeah, you know, folks have been doing it for quite some time. It's always been this way, so we figured, hey, why not? And it worked! The rock conjured up monsters! But they attacked us instead, so it kind of also didn't work, no? The monsters, the elves, everyone got all pissed and huffy, and then... And then you came to us. Yep. So, you gonna get those elves or what? Gods, what a mess.
Maz, understatement of the century. This is bat crap crazy. Honestly, I get mind blown that something as utterly stupid and nonsensical as this ever happened. All right, people, we'll handle this. Meeting adjourned. Yeah, cool. People of the Unity, roll out. What do we do now? What can we do? We go after the oars and after the rock. Seriously, what the hell? Okay. On my honor. What? Have at thee. Ah. Well, young master, are you thinking what I'm thinking, Griffith? That the rock did not seem overtly evil. Yep, exactly what I was thinking. These monsters just happened to be nesting nearby. It was, in fact, a regular rock after all. What on earth were we thinking? Rocks dispensing curses? <laughs> Additionally, I would like to point out that the ores are nowhere to be seen, at least at first glance. Right, the ores. Sweep the surroundings. And nothing. I can't believe it. The ores are not here, Griffith. But why? Unless, perhaps the rock really is magical. No, it's not. Let's not delve into that silliness. The question is, what happened to them? Or rather, how will we be able to placate the elves now? Conflict seems imminent. Just what we needed. More elven coteries to antagonize. I think we should talk to the Unity on this matter. What will you tell them? I don't know. Something? Anything? This is their business as much as ours. Let's go. Hello again, everyone. We really need to talk. Again? This is getting annoying. My feet hurt. We're listening. So we went to the grove and destroyed the rock. What? Why would you do that? We're doomed. What will we do now? The rock is gone. Told you we should have hanged him, I did. <laughs> now, now, calm down. What about the elves? Are they gone? That's the thing. We managed to fend off the monsters, which happened to be completely unrelated to the problem at hand, but that's slightly beyond the point. And we haven't found the ores. Are you sure you left them by the rock? Course we did! I'm not dumb, you know! Hey, guys, I'm confused. Does it mean the elves are still around? Oh, right. Good question. So the elves are still around, huh? They are, but they haven't made a move yet. I promise we'll try our best to find the ores. Useless! The old rulers would just kill them all like in the good old days! <laughs> well, I'd like to remind you that this whole problem is kind of your fault. You shouldn't have stolen those oars. Self-defense, it was self-defense. You're our king, you should do something about it! Do something! But... They're right. We wanted you to resolve this thing, not muddle it up. <sighs> oh, whatever. You tried, I guess. Maybe the situation is still salvageable. So, lads, any ideas? What should we ask him to do next? Get out. I I'm sorry, what? I've had enough. It is clear to me now that to you, this is nothing but a clever self-serving scheme, regardless of the cost. Does all of this mean nothing to you? This is your past too. Are our efforts just a convenient way to get around something that you, yourself, should have done a long, long time ago? Now just you wait, boyo. Get out! You want to pose threats to me and my family? Well, I will play your games no more. Be gone from my sight. All right, all right. You'll regret this, you. Okay. Yeah? Just so you know, I'm so goddamn proud of you right now. And so the hour comes, brain fever. What? Why are you here? Did I not tell you that the coterie would be watching? 
the kith grow weary of waiting. The Anam demands blood. Have you fulfilled your end of the bargain? As we witnessed, your subjects did not provide much use. I don't know what to tell you. Despite our best efforts, we couldn't find the oars. Good. So blood it will be. Wait! Uh, Master Ondoris? What? What's that thing you're carrying? Ah, these. Just some ores I found by some rock in the forest. Ugly things. But who knows? Maybe they'll be worth something to someone. Why? You wanna buy them? I could cut you a deal. Well... So are we settled? You'll leave us in peace? Aye. <laughs> What a surprising turn of events, my brain fever. One more thing. Before, back in the grove, you mentioned your coterie owing something to the Lorne name? Yes, that is true. But if you're searching for roots, this may prove to be a card that you should not uncover. What do you mean? You've no doubt heard the tale of the Crusades. A time when House Lorin died, buried with their city-state of Ascalia. But truth is rarely simple, or singular. How much do you really know? Just the bare minimum, I'm afraid. Many tetrids ago, the then Lord Martell of House Lorin invited our coterie to his court. What? Why? Why, he had come to us with a proposal, and we agreed. He wanted us to stay with him, forever. What? He was a weak ruler and a weak man. One in desperate need of guidance. He wanted us. He needed us. And so he called out to the knight, and the kith answered. He surrendered his will, and we filled the cracks. But it was not by our hand that the tide of atrocities began. With our help, he said, he would become something more. A kith. A mere man. Lysos Orphan, calling himself a kith. Ha! Truly the mark of madness. Men and kith, sun and moon, day and night. Two paths never meant to converge. As the word spread, human lords, men of Shadu, men of Lordemar, grew afraid. A foothold for the kith in the heart of human lands? They were afraid. Then, one by one, came the diplomatic incidents. And so, in an unprecedented move, your history's two mortal enemies banded together against House Lorin. Your people know this event as the Crusades. Your land burned. The city was turned to ash. The kith were overpowered. And the Mad King Martell, our plaything and benefactor, was eliminated. I can't believe it. House Lorin. My family. Responsible for these Crusades? All the destruction and suffering? Because of one loony guy? So speak the histories of the world, my brain fever. <sighs> this is a bit much to take in, but thank you nevertheless. No debts between us remain now, manling. May we one day meet on the field of battle. <laughs> Let me offer you one final bit of advice. Do not fight for a legacy that you should not be part of. What? Huh? <sighs> Let's see. Way to go! <laughs> News has come in. Apparently, Miss Addie's little committee didn't expect that sudden show of backbone. 
It doesn't seem like the Unity is going to bother us anytime soon. We will finally be able to move on to some more productive activities. Fewer circuses, more bread, that kind of thing. There's no telling if Crucy won't crank up the pace again. What's the word on the ancestral treasure thing? Sadly, nothing new. The trail's gone completely cold. And the summer estate? Ellie sent another batch of inquiries. The dragon had mentioned Aralan, so that's where we pulled first. Just so you know, that's a whole other web of extravagant connections. Tracing one dependency after another, we've managed to dig up an interesting lead. A lead? We received word of a certain interesting painting being exhibited in Armalisse at Pinacoteca da Candelaria, and the curator was kind enough to part with it. This... this sounds like a pricey agreement. <sighs> but what is one more bill in the shambling pile of terribleness? Now. Hmm. Well, I think it would be prudent just to show it to you. Come. That's it? That's the painting? Yep. And it tells us what, exactly? <sighs> if you just stay quiet for a fraction of a second. Now, the painting shows a sea landscape as seen from some unspecified island vantage. It's not an imaginary piece of terrain, either. See this? The shoreline matches with the Argent Coast, a region on the border of Rashtil and Armalisse. So what, you may ask? Well, I'd like to draw your attention to this little stamp here. That's the symbol of House Lorne! Indeed it is. The painter's signature, or so I was told. But that means... That the painter was Lauren, in all likelihood. And we have a name, Fallon Galar Lauren, the Prince in Chambers, an unfulfilled artist and an infamous recluse, brother to the king, a man who never took permanent residence in Ascalia. I see. You're saying that he painted this from the Lauren Summer Estate. Naturally, it's a stretch. A cute piece of conjecture, even. But the elements fit. With Crucy going into overload, we don't really have the luxury to ignore this. But we also have no guarantee that the treasure is there. Nope. Regardless, Argent Coast it is. Griffith? Sire. Let's move. Now, aren't you forgetting about something, kiddos? Um. Your objectives! Ah! Before you rush out seeking white rabbits, hear me out. Okay, that's all. Shoo! This is the place? The environment seems to match. And truthfully, so does the interior. <laughs> yeah, my family seems to leave plenty of mess behind. Is this the treasure vault? It certainly looks the part. Approach it carefully, young master. There may yet be traps awaiting. Could that be it? The end of our woes? Ah, uh, do you see a way to open it, Griffith? Let us see. My, what a stereotypical situation. Just what am I supposed to say, huh? I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> well, did that come out right, Sir K? Who, what? Do we know each other? Each other? No, but I know you. Uh-huh. You trespass upon Lauren property. You shall identify yourself this moment. Yes, yes, drama. Always stoking the drama. But I hate drama. Tell me, has nobody told you that silence is gold? All these months and you still haven't taught your guard dog not to yap needlessly. Some authority you have. Not a foul word more. You are insulting the ruler of this land. <laughs> Am I? Is he? Perhaps you were a little bit too bold in calling me a trespasser. I am Karen Lorne of Estir, heir apparent to Escalia, inheritor of Rashtil Expanse, and by blood, the last scion of House Lorin. What? Wh what kind of nonsense is this? A dramatic surprise, check. Now step aside. A treasure of my ancestors awaits me. What? Just what the hell is your problem? Explain yourself now! No. I owe you no explanation. 
The world doesn't work like that. You do well to finally learn that little lesson, Lord K. Not a step further! <laughs> You'd raise your hand against your king? Enough with this! I do not know what deception you are trying to weave here, but you are no king of mine. My liege stands right here with me. I serve K of House Lauren. <sighs> we just can't avoid this little standoff, can we? All right, have it your way. On with the grand reveals. One, you are way too loud. Two, you are starting to greatly annoy me. Three, your liege is no more Lauren than you are. And you are, might I remind you, a lowly servant. And so is he. What? I know your precious sisters have been busy messing with the past, digging up scraps left behind by their betters. They did a decent job, but they were misinformed at core. And you know this how, exactly? The heirloom script of House Lauren. Remember that? Riddle me this. How did you obtain it? As I recall, Gwen received it anonymously through a noble from... Uh... From Estir, that's right. But let's make one thing clear. It wasn't a gift, nor a gesture of sympathy. My family has spent ages in exile, unable to exercise their God-given right, all due to that ridiculous debt, unable to rule, unable to act, hiding behind the names and borders of foreign kingdoms, the humiliation. Did you think, perhaps, that you would accomplish something? That you had stumbled upon some delicious riddle from the past? The treasure story has always been an open secret among members of the house, and a silly one at that. An untouched treasure, in this day and age, a likely tale. Imagine my surprise when I learned that there was Pretender in Rashtil, one all too willing to chase that wild goose, and desperate enough to take risks against the furtive Union. And yet, in an even better turn of events, the treasure turned out to exist after all. All it took was to watch from afar, nudge you once or twice, and move in at the right moment. Minimum effort, maximum payback. How nice of you to do all the work for me. The debt will be paid. The kingdom will be reclaimed. Glory to House Lauren, at last. But you're not making sense. I am the last Lauren. Sense, sense, sense! Still moaning about this. I told you already. You are but a servant. See, once upon a time, there were these crusades. The crusades again? Yes, confusing business to say the least. A time when House Lauren was betrayed by his allies. When Lord Damar and Shedu, two worthless excuses of nations, raised Iskalia to the ground. The outrage! And worst of all, the rabble rose against him too. His own subjects, just like that. Duke Martell of House Lauren was a madman! He had convinced himself that he was an elf and cared little for anything else. He was the king! Right or wrong, his will was to be obeyed! Fortunately for your dumb little head, one man understood that way better than you do. One man put his own fatness and well-being to save his king. Huh? When the armies came calling, the Duke chose to flee in secrecy to his holdings in S-tier. Gods don't bleed after all, do they? Neither do elves, if stories are to be believed. Alas, nobody told his enemies that. They craved his head. And one man, Martel's favorite servant, gave them just that. Believing in his lord and house, he proposed a plan. He took his insignia, his robes, and... See where I'm going with this? <sighs> I can't hear you. They switched places. Correct. You are nothing more than a descendant of a servant. How does it feel knowing that you've been living a lie? Well, I don't care either way. And truthfully, why would I? Commoner. Young master, this is utter nonsense. Why should we believe him? His words are no proof. Hmm, is that so? Does your lord share this opinion? Have you never wondered why everything seems so ill-fitting? Not your time, not your place, perhaps? He ain't looking like the old king. Your smell, it's different than what I remember. You wear a familiar name, manling. I thought you'd be taller. But the Anam knows not of you. Bonkia. What mask lies upon me? Uh, black hair, beard. Do not fight for a legacy that you should not be part of. I'm not a Lauren, am I? And so the truth finally dawns, with remarkably little drama, too. 
Just be so kind and don't burst into tears right now. Body nonsense. And you, Griffith? How does it feel to be oath-bound to a lie? All your life in vain, serving the son of a dirty commoner. Where's honor in that? <sighs> this changes nothing. Jeez, so stubborn. Now, though, let your king pass. Never! Let him pass, Griffith. Young master! I said, let him pass. <laughs> About time to wisen up. But I... <sighs> yes. Ah, finally, my birthright. You know, when I heard that some commoner managed to usurp Escalia, I was furious. An outsider in the halls of Castle Lorin. Unacceptable. But you surprised me. You took it upon yourself to pay off the debt. You cleaned the place up. And somehow, despite being crapped on from every possible direction, you moved onward. A premium pawn, wouldn't you say? <sighs> We went through this already. I may be a patient man, but... Know your damn place! Do you really think I'd come here unprepared? There is a whole regiment of men from the Lesser Kingdoms outside, just waiting for a dumb move like this. Hardly mercs, the kind that itches to stab a fluffy bunny. So don't. Yes, that's right. Why throw everything away? Treasure these last moments of personal glory. What do you mean? Well, as the true king, it is in my divine right to take what is mine, no? Iskalia awaits. In fact, you may go now. Someone needs to make the preparations. Maybe get a scribe to write down the event. We shall call it Return of the King. No, wait, that's too corny. Go nevertheless. This... I... Sire. Go, I shan't be long. Griffith told me you'd be here. He also said you asked him to leave you alone. That, by the way, was two days ago. <sighs> How long are you planning to sulk here? <sighs> Isn't that what you wanted? To leave this place behind? I guess what I want and what I need are two different things right now. I wonder, did Father know? Or at the very least, how much? Why didn't he tell us? Was all of this just a prank for the sake of the past? Of course not! No matter what, Dad always believed in you. How can you say such things? We're no heroes, Ellie. We were just stand-ins and meat shields for the true heir. It was always meant to be a doomed endeavor. And now, we have nothing. Not even a place to call home. Ah, right. Slight correction, we do have something. A huge debt with no end in sight. Because that's still on us. <laughs> You're wrong. We do have a home. This is our home. Ellie, please stop. Ugh, just get a grip already. Ellie. We're a family. There's you, there's me, there's Gwen, and there's Griffith. When did that change? Why does it matter what our name is? All these people here? You gave them something real. You gave them homes and lives. They came and you welcomed them. They asked and you listened. You were there for them. In two years, you've done for them more than any real Lauren in centuries. Doesn't that mean anything? 
Remember what Grandpa said? He never was our grandfather. Grandpa said, a king is nothing without his subjects. True wealth lies in the hearts and minds of your people. And yet you want to throw it all away? Just like that? Maybe Karen will be a better ruler. Which wouldn't be all that difficult. A quindung, to put it mildly. The letters are pouring in from all over Rashtil. He's slow to move towards Ascalia itself, but he has already made a huge show in some of the smaller settlements. My favorite part would be when he lynched the proprietor of a local alehouse over trying to charge him for a drink. Truly the mark of a reasonable man. Surely you can feel the unrest even here in the town. Everyone's afraid of what is to come. So they all know? Naturally. Karen is not a subtle person, and, well, you have been rather unsociable these last couple days. They're worried about you, Kay. And they trust you. Will you let that trust down? You're trying to mold me into something I'm not! Who am I to decide? Do you expect me to defy the rightful king of this land? There is a difference between a king and a tyrant. You were there with me, sire. That man does not engender trust. From what I hear, that's putting it mildly. Indeed. Why do you still follow me, Griffith? You were deceived just as we were, if not longer. I swore my oath to a man, not a name. I swore to guard you on everything he stood for. Justice, valor, and benevolence. And throughout all the time spent at your side, watching your actions, I have never regretted that oath. This tale has two endings, but I have no doubt that only one is worthy of the legacy of House Lauren. Yours. Griffith. Oh well, so you're not a Lauren. Big deal. If he thinks he can piss on my favorite customer, he's wrong. I'm 110% behind you. Go kick his butt. Drama, drama, all that political drama. And yet the Emperor put his faith in one man. You. Not him, not House Lauren. You, Kay. The king, the warrior, the friend. Stand proud, pup. This is unacceptable. Heinrich is outraged. That man is nothing but a thug. A thug, you hear me? Stay strong, Kay. We'll pave that road with our own hands. Politics, not my kind of thing. But you are a friend of science. Whatever happens, my science is here to aid you. I've been hounded all my life, you know. Thanks to you, that's old news. I have a home now. It's my turn to repay the favor, don't you think? Don't you even think about resigning. We have so many more great books to write. If you need an extra boot to stomp on that guy's smug face, here I am! Just what we need. Another bloody revolution in Rashtil. Karen is not a stable element, Kay. The Kingdom of Lordemar stands with you. I stand with you. Uh, you're right, kid. I thought you might want to know that. Mister, you're not gonna give up without a fight, are you? He's just another bully! We're with you all the way! Everyone. <laughs> Thank you. I know you! And you all know me! You know, I'm not really used to making these grand corny speeches, even if it's what you're expecting right now. But you also know that so far I haven't let you down. I may not be a Lauren, but right now, it doesn't matter. This is my home. Our home. We built it together, bit by bit. It wasn't easy, but we're still afloat. I have no idea what fate holds in store for us. And for all I know, it can get grisly. All we can do right now is prepare. But hey, this is it. This is the end game. Let's do this!
My, my, how disappointing. Did they just run with tails between their legs? Such a lousy way to welcome their rightful king. We're here! Indeed you are! And I see you brought your fabulous family along, my ladies. Oh, gods, you're even more punchable than I thought. <laughs> you may want to watch your pretty little mouth, miss. Don't talk to Gwen like that! Familial solidarity. Great, cute, and all that. Now hush. Well, did you prepare the castle as I asked you to? We've decided to stay. Thanks. K, K, K. Do we really have to go through this? I mean, I thought as much. That's why I brought some friends along, see? There's more waiting outside. But you know why? Why are you making this harder than it should be? This is mine. All this is mine. Bold words, considering that despite your best knowledge, you have not lifted a finger to restore it. You come for glory and titles, preying on the work that was done for... No, despite you. Harrogate scum! You gorge upon the scraps of a life that was never meant to be yours! You throw all these big words, all these nonsensical platitudes about virtuous conduct, and yet you're so alone. Where are all those people you seemingly champion? Where are the ones I've seemingly wronged? Well, Kay? They're here with me. What's this? A little rebellion against your master? Insolent rabble! They're not rabble. They're my subjects. My people. My friends. Would you just get off your high horse already? <laughs> That's precious. Lecturing me. Really? Foolish curs! Dim-witted, slobbering peasants! Can't you see that you're backing a pretender? A puppet with no fire, no nobility in his veins? But if that is your wish, then so be it. Hear me and hear me well. Any Cretan who sides with him will get crushed by the might of House Lauren. No, they won't. <laughs> what? Who the hell are you? I am Desideratus of House Lauren, founder of the dynasty. I should probably also say that I'm your late grandfather, but you, Sonny, are no Lauren. So leave this place at once. Grandpa! Uh, th this is insane. You aren't even related. They are nothing but frauds and charlatans who usurp your legacy. You are backing a titleless loafer. I'm backing a man with a heart. And mind your goddamn tone. That's no way to speak to your elders, hmm? Yeah, yeah, what can I say? You owe me. Thank you. Enough! I will not let this cabaret go undisturbed any longer! So you fancy yourself nobles, rulers, kings? You think you know better what being a Lauren entails? I've spent years kissing the rears of foreign courts, dreaming of this moment. You dirt-eating knaves will not take this away from me! You and your pathetic supporters will fill the gallows! You hear me? The gallows! Karen of House Lauren, I do not wish you harm, but as long as I'm here, I will not let you lay a finger on these people. Ha! You want to be king? Then come, usurper! Take it from me! Draw! Oh, look, he's still spry. You... you think you've won, haven't you? That this is over? Fools! Madmen! This means nothing! Nothing, you hear? Will you shut up already? At this point, you're just embarrassing yourself. <laughs> Let it go, Karen. Leave, and there won't be any bad blood between us. Oh, I will leave, all right, and return. Next time, nothing will save you. I... I will return with an army of nobles so big, so powerful. <laughs> You will be gutted like the mongrel bunch you are, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> there is something, you know. Kay? No, you're not thinking about... Huh? What's this? Uh, wh wh are you going to kill me? Oh my, the tension is killing me. Ah, right. Nah, I won't. This city has seen enough bloodshed already, don't you think? House Lauren or otherwise. 
<laughs> Weekly, you're signing your death warrant. <sighs> what? Cat got your tongue? I swear. I swear on the legacies that you have claimed as your own. I, Karin of House Lauren, the true heir of Ascalia, will return for what is mine. My, my, my. <laughs> what an interesting turn of events. Would you mind repeating that for the protocol, Mr. Karen Lauren? Mr. Crucy! Oh, from bad to worse. M Mr. Crucy? What are you doing here? Why, I've come to collect my routine installments. For some reason, no doubt very important and very well documented, I haven't received any written word for you in the last weeks. I came to ensure you shall make the deadline, but... It would seem I have stumbled upon some truly astonishing developments. Mr. Karen, was it? Is that true? Are you, in fact, the one true heir? Was it not this man? Mr. Crucy, let me... Shh, shh, shh. Who, who the hell are you? Walter Crucy of the Furtive Union. Now, answer the question, please. Yes, I am. And I cannot abide by this ridiculous nonsense. That man... K is a fraud, an imposter, a pretendant. I am the true king. I demand, I demand legitimacy. I demand acknowledgement of my status in the face of the law. <laughs> Are you sure? Perhaps you should be careful what you wish for. <sighs> After all, we must all abide the law, don't we? As the chief financial representative of the Furtive Union and the custodian of the bygone finances of House Lauren, I declare as follows. All right. All of the current and remaining obligations, which will probably span years till mine, shall be transferred from Sir Kay's family onto your personage. What? 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 I won't say it. It would appear that a horrible, horrible mistake must have taken place. As such, the massive, crippling, and completely unregulated debts of your ancestors have been wrongly assigned to this young man. Naturally, this is all remedied now. With your confession, everything is clear. Also, I would imagine that Sir Kay would want his money back, wouldn't he? In fact, right now he has an extremely strong claim for compensation, should he decide to exercise it before the courts. I also expect you to be as diligent with your payments as your predecessor was. I am sure you will be able to meet the first deadline of, say, next week? Uh, 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 what? What? But, but... Yes, Mr. Lauren? Is there anything you would like to add? You, 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 you can't! This, I, you... Careful now. I would refrain from making threats you cannot back, Mr. Lauren. People were known to vanish for less. So, about that deadline, are we clear? Ah! Ah! Hmm. Unfortunate. But worry not, we shall exercise our due. We always do. That said, I shall bid you adieu. Have a great day, Mr. K, Miss Gwendolyn, Miss Elaine. Mr. Crucy? Hmm? I never expected to say this, but thank you. Please, have I not told you already once? We're civilized people. I am not a comic book villain, Mr. K. It's just business, nothing more, nothing less. And I respect those who are dependable enough to keep up their ends of the bargain, especially with the odds you were given. Congratulations on your new property. Debt free this time. But isn't it technically still Karen's? <laughs> Is it? Oh. I do not know. Ownership is a fickle thing, you see. Claims get forged, papers get lost. Perhaps you worry too much. Additionally, I would imagine he has more pressing issues at the moment. Don't you think? Farewell, Mr. K. Hopefully, for good. Not there! I'm actually impressed! 
That was one fancy, uh, what do you call it? Uh, deuce ex machina? Anyway, what you gonna do now, folks? That's a good question, actually. What are we gonna do now? You tell me. You're the king, remember? Uh, right. <laughs> I mean, we're not even House Lauren. Oh, I'm sure we'll figure something out. Don't you worry about that. I mean, just to make sure. We're staying, right? Of course. It's home. Indeed, it is. But in the meantime, let us make it official. All hail, King K! All hail, Escalia! Hail! hail. All hail, hail King, King K! K. Guys, thanks for standing with me. I am honored that you would have me as your king. And you'll make a good one, too. So, uh, is it over? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, you can all go back to your homes now. Thanks. Uh, well, gotta start working on that new house name. A new coat of arms would be wise, too. Oh, I might have a few ideas. So do I. Great, let's hit the drawing board. This is going to be disastrous, isn't it? And so ends the story of a man whose deeds echoed stronger than his blood. Despite the countless seemingly insurmountable obstacles, silly or otherwise, Ascalia rose from the ashes, its warm, hopeful light shining across Rashtil once again. Naturally, not everything that followed was happy or epic. Or, well, well, didn't even make sense. But such is life and tales need not imitate. And for as long as Escalia stands, its people shall look to the past and remember, gleaming with pride. They shall remember the time when among them walked both men and monarchs.
Count Roderick's greatest wealth. You know, Griffith, it's funny how we've completely forgotten about this. True, I still cannot wrap my head around the fact. I also cannot imagine why, apparently, Karen made no use of it. Especially now, given his current situation. Huh, think it's empty? His words seemed to suggest otherwise. Well, only one way to find out. What the hell? Hmm. Is that... are those... Well... Are those... bottle caps? Splendid. Great! Ah, excellent. Continue. Great! Have at thee! Ah, excellent. Have at thee! Splendid. We will talk later. Are you all right? <sighs> I... I think I need a moment. Thank you. I shall take my leave then. Okay. <sighs> Splendid. Yes, indeed. Indeed.
What? Okay. Thank you. <sighs> I'm an expert at everything you can think of. I can do no wrong. Respectfully disagree. What? No. <laughs> Watch your tone. What? Oh, for the love of... Okay. Why me? Thank you. 
Really, young master? My gods, thank you! Thank you a hundred times! Huh? So what exactly are we doing here, Griffith? Looking for the beast. And why are we doing this? To end its reign of terror and bring peace to the land. And what are our chances of the supposed beast appearing? Well, since we are in fact chatting casually in the middle of a seemingly lifeless forest, given the laws of narrative probability, I would say... It happens now! Get ready, young master! What the hell? That our beast, Griffith? No, there's no way. You are saying? On second thought. The fabled beast appears to have slowed down. She doesn't look like a bandit, or a beast for that matter. Why would she be terrorizing the locals? I do not think we can expect civil reasoning from her, sire. I would suggest caution in your attempts to communicate. You win. You speak. There are no words between predator and prey, yes? In defeat, our roles are reversed. If words are shared, it shall be so, by your choosing. What? Are you the beast that stalks Rashtil? Rashtil? Such a name is unknown to me. You speak of names, of names that impose boundaries, but these are not mine. We share a sky, but the boundary is not mine. The mark is not mine. The territory is not mine. I understood nothing. Neither did I. Packs, tribes, kin, rights. The Kelra way, our way, my way. To overcome enemies, we become beasts in spirit. I guess that explains the outburst. Sort of. There is strength in such bonds, as in all bonds born out of respect. We take only what is given and never force our way. I still cannot make heads or tails of what you're saying. <sighs> the beast chooses the man, and the man accepts the beast. But it is a process, not an act. Something to claw and strive for. For many days and many nights, many moons that come and go. But the exact count is meaningless. One cannot return without finding the right beast. So unless I'm getting utterly confounded here, you're saying you are searching for your beast? Yes. And this search brought you here? Just so. I have never heard about this tribe of yours, these Kelra. The turtle and the eagle both share a sky. But though the turtle wonders about the clouds, he will never take flight, yes? Huh? It is a color unknown to your kind, much as yours is unknown to mine. Is she really the same girl who just tried to rip our throats out? But anyway, what does all of this mean? I am sorry, but I can't allow you to run around the woods anymore. I am a lord of sorts, of these lands, and I could really use some popular support. You aren't helping, you know. You need to leave. Then we are at odds. But as the victor, you are within rights to request so. If that is your will. What would happen if you were to abandon your right and go back home? My siblings would devour me whole. Uh, figuratively speaking? No. Young master? I know what you're about to ask me, Griffith, and I'm not sure I'll like it. Come now, we all follow our oaths. And hers seems to be of great import. To her, at the very least. Well, we're in the middle of something ourselves, remember? You're asking me to put her own good above ours. No. I am asking you to be the man your father thought you would always be. Which is? The better man. Eh. Sire. Damn you, Griffith. 
What if we made a deal? The predator does not barter with prey. He does not want you to be his prey. He wants you to be his partner. Your lion speaks, yet confuses. Elaborate. Lion? Come with us. We'll give you shelter and resources, and hopefully it'll help you find your beast. A cage of wood and stone yields no answers. That may be so, but you won't have to stay in one. As a member of my retinue, I expect people to honor your special outdoor privileges. And, uh, small eccentricities. Emphasis on small. No doubt you would price this favor in my strength, yes? What for? You heard it yourself. We need all the hands we can get to rebuild the city. I am sure Master K would be very pleased with such a capable warrior as yourself. I see. Then the boon is granted, and so I will join your pack. I shall follow the duckling and the lion so that together we may fulfill our oaths. Duckling? Really? Why do I get a duckling while you get to be a lion? I have absolutely no idea. Now, uh, the girls. I have a feeling this'll take a long, long while to explain to Gwen. Hey! These settlements of stone and wood are confusing. A rare kindness. The ancestors are with us! Okay. Yes.
We are in agreement. <sighs> no. Such pain upon the soul. Huh? Such pain upon the soul. Talk to you later. Just so. Hey! Sure.
The ancestors are with us. Greatness. Sounds good to me. never repay my debt fully but know this I can finally take my place in the tribe I can return home all thanks to the duckling no not a duckling I shall err no longer for the truth lies bare now you are something more much much more a proud soaring dragon rising not on the wings of arrogance but trust a hero from the depths of my soul, and from the generations of my ancestors. Thank you. Caravans? I asked him to get some goods from Minway. The roads aren't exactly safe, but we need trade. And no sane man would dare to mess with one of the gnomish princes. But he's not a merchant prince. Right. Don't tell that to the bandits. You don't seem to like Master Andorus all that much. He is resourceful, I guess, and persistent. Might as well make the most of it. I detect a scathing undertone in your voice, my lady. I'm just a simple merchant trying to make a living. See? He didn't say honest. Does the quality of my service offend you? Depends if that jar of golden liquid you unpacked three boxes ago truly is a quote-unquote potion for good fortune. <laughs> uh, perhaps an empirical sunfall is in order. A small discount for my benefactors. Well... Thanks, but no thanks. Shucks! Someone was stowed away in the supplies! Are you all right? Could be better. You? Oh, I ate toast for breakfast and... What the hell were you doing in a vase? My vase! On my caravan! The girl! Oh, the last thing I need right now is human trafficking charges. What do you think one can do in a vase? You're not going to just talk your way out of this. Who are you? Okay, okay, Miss Pissy. Call me Alice. My boss! You violated my boss! I didn't violate anything. I hitched a ride. All the way from Minway? That raises disturbing questions. And I suppose you want me to answer them now? So why did you hide in that vase, miss? Fine. Ignore my boss. You'll come begging to me for discounts later. Oh, you know how it is. You stick your head a little out of the crab bucket, and suddenly, everyone's aiming to lop it off. You live, you're bound to make somebody mad. Get enough heat, and it's time to change the ambiance. Wouldn't be the first time, anyway. <sighs> Look, it's complicated. For now, I'm just looking for a place to crash in. No strings attached, no charity involved. Believe me, I can pull my weight. You're awfully keen to lie low, aren't you? Hey, I'm not a criminal if that's what you're getting at. Sis? What are you looking at me for? The decision is not mine. You'll have to talk to our brother about this. Then I will. Hey there. Hello. I've been told that you wanted to speak with me? Those two blondies brought you up to speed, huh? They're my sisters. 
Yes, I thought as much. But let's cut to the chase. I'm Alice. I was probably born in Shadu, but it's hard to tell with people like me, as dumb as it sounds. I don't tend to dwell on it, nor do I care. I travel a lot, mostly, and voluntarily. I guess I'm kinda sorta on the run right now. But if there's one thing you should trust about me, it's that I'm not a criminal. Instead... Hold on. What did you mean, people like me? Ah, uh, well, I was getting to that. I was hoping to butter you up before we got to the subject. See, I'm a kindling. <sighs> yeah, this is your cue to scream. Oh, uh, what now? Huh? You don't know? Well then! Basically, she's a natural-born wizard. Normally, magic requires years of practice, discipline, and effort. But every once in a while, a person may be born with a gift. They wield magic like they breathe. Spontaneously. Why have you been eavesdropping? Point is, kindlings get a bad rap, and it's not hard to see why. They're like a sugar-crazed kid with a razor. All the power, none of the limitations. There's plenty of room for things to go wrong. Wow, graphic. I see you've done your research, Miss Pissy. Would you just stop calling me that? At least I don't dress like a cheap stripper. Why, you spoiled little... All right, ladies, let's all take a deep breath here and... Scratch pad. Push up. Circus freak. Aw, oh, you know that last one was weak as shit. Uh, uh, ahem, ladies, would you please just calm the hell down? Let's go back to that part about you being drunk with unlimited power. That sounds troublesome. I can't speak for other kindlings, or whatever they choose to call themselves. The way I see it, it's just a big, dumb label that attracts way too many kooks. Hell, I spent half my life running away from kooks. And I'm tired. I need a breather. Place to kick back for a while and not worry about crazies trying to scout me for no sane reason. That's not criminal, is it? Ah, you want shelter then? That's what I said, yeah. Gwen? Sure, let's invite a literal living bomb under our roof. After all, we already have a canned dead guy and a naked bushwoman. Might as well complete the collection. You're mocking me. No. Uh, I'll have to take a leap of faith here, won't I? Well, it'd certainly be considerably easier to just burn you all. But surely you can see how that wouldn't necessarily turn out to be the wisest choice? Don't you worry. I'm used to having to earn one's trust. I take it I don't need to ask whether you can defend yourself. If I focus hard enough, I can make your head explode. I'll take it as a yes. Well, that's good enough for me. Welcome aboard, Lady Alice. Great. Now, if you excuse me, I think I saw a bearded woman around the corner. Oh, Gwen. I apologize for her. Nah, don't sweat it. She'd grouch herself to death without someone like me. Let's go. Hey. Yeah, sure.
<laughs> right. I'm an ordinary girl burning down the house. Sweetheart. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm glad to hear that. Wonderful! What? Well, what can I say? Well, what can I say? Now I'm pissed. Dangerous.
It's candling time. Hey, thanks! Are you all right? Cyrus is dead. I'm free. Hey! Couldn't be better. Thanks, sweetheart. Eh. You call for me, dearie? Mm, yeah. I could seriously use some help here. Ah, uh, not like I have anything to do. Shoot. Well, we still haven't sorted out all the family paperwork. See this? Gwen tells me it's some kind of ancient script, maybe even magical. And I thought, you know, you're ancient, right? Do you know anything about this kind of writing? Ancient? Really, my girl, you wound me. Well, at least metaphorically speaking. Ta-ta! Did I mention that I'm hurt, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to imply you're old, even though, um, you are. Ah, when my age you reach, you'll learn that the subtle distinction between old and really goddamn old becomes extremely important. Oh? What's that? Oh, hello. How are you doing? Grandpa? <laughs> Funny thing, that. It seems there's someone inside already. 
What are we talking about again? What do you mean there's someone inside? A spirit, but not like me. It's cold, distant, asleep in this shell of an armor. It shouldn't be there. But there we go. Sometimes, if the will is strong enough, the dead may remain behind. There it is. It slumbers. But I can reach out and tug at its essence, stir it once more, help it awake. Please do. Here he comes. Did it work? Where am I? What is this sensation? Are these my hands? But I should be dead. I am dead. Am I? I refuse to die once. It's all so blurry. Why? Where am I? Um, are you all right? You. Who are you? Where am I? Explain this strangeness. <laughs> You're one to talk. Ghost. Yes, now it makes sense. Be gone, foul undead. You will not sway me. Oh my. He's adjusting really well, don't you think? Um... Hello? Is everything all right? Am I dead? Eh? Of course you are, just like me. The only difference being that, for some reason, you're inseparable from that golden tin can of yours. Don't know why. What manner of cruel joke is this? Is this your doing, ghost? Ah, dead, death, what's the difference? They have trickery as a foot. Not really. We found this armor locked in the basement of our castle. Grandpa said your spirit was bound inside. Castle? Yes, sir. Ascalia, in the Rashtil Expanse. Preposterous! That's impossible! What the what now? So you don't know why you ended up there? Come now, Mr. Knight. Please don't be like that. We're just trying to help. You seek to coddle me, insolent child. I am Lord Azalius Castellavant of Lordemar, and you will show proper respect. But... Ho ho ho! Such a spirited ex-individual. I've had enough of your blatant mockery, Spectre. I will cleanse this place. I will falters. What? What is this sorcery? Explain thyself. Ho oh, ho! I made you move. Now I can make you stop. Do not overstay your welcome, Sonny. Can't we all just get along? Sure. Do that in your spare time. For now, I'm going to lock this upstanding fella in the basement. Let young Kay sort it out. All right, Goldie. Right, left, right, left. Yeah, leave me be, wretched ghost! I command you to... This is the guy? Yeah, though he seems to have calmed down by now. Who dares? Well, scratch that. The insolent girl returns to torment me once more. Where's your spectral underling, child? If you think you can break my will, my flesh... You... Oh, right. You were right. He is crazy. Be careful, Kay. What is this? Another child? Come to mock me about my confinement, boy. I'm Kay of House Lauren. As confusing as it sounds, somehow you ended up holed in my basement. And I'd like to know why. You would presume to command me. What authority do you wield? Uh, well, I'm the lord of these lands, and this castle. Words. I don't want to bicker. Surely you can agree that this is totally unexpected for both parties. Can we help each other out? Hmm. You know, Kay, maybe we should... You know the ghost from before? <laughs> That's my grandfather, and I could ask him to do something to coerce you. Say... How do you feel about song and dance? Maybe a funny skit in front of a large audience? You wouldn't. Try me. 
this is outrageous! Do you expect me to suffer all that belittlement without retribution? Song and dance. Ugh. Ugh, bully! To make me choose between my principles and my dignity! I just want to know what's your deal. Tell me what I need to know, and we'll forget about the whole thing. Very well. My name is Azaleus Castor Levant. Know that I am... was a member of the Knight's Aurum of Lordemar. As you can see, I am not quite dead, stuck in a condition that I find infuriating. Beyond that, there is little I could tell you. It seems I may have been slumbering for quite a long time. Yes, about that. How did you end up here? I remember an order. An order? I was told to keep watch. Hold this spot. Do not budge until you are told otherwise. So I did. But where? Who said that? Hmm. Oh, wait, you don't mean to tell me. That order was never revoked. I can't tell whether that's really tragic or really dumb. But what made you return? What made you cling to the world of the living? Maybe he was just too stubborn to die. What? I'm not kidding. Grandpa mentioned that spirits tend to linger if their resolve is strong enough. Or they have an unfulfilled purpose. So you think he had a very strong reason to keep going? I don't know, but it seems possible, right? Maybe a personal oath of some kind. Does any of this make sense to you, Mr. Knight? If you must know, it is not uncommon for Knights of Lordemar to swear oaths and vows. And sure enough, I had my vow, yes. Tis a poor will that never faces contest, but to think it would bar my passage! Alack the heavy day! What was it? And why would I tell a mewling scallion like you? There he goes again. All right, enough. We get it. You don't want to talk. I'm sorry about your condition, and I wish you all the best. You're free to go. Wait. One more thing. What year is it? According to the Inixonian calendar, 1107. <sighs> is he all right? I don't know. Maybe we should poke him with a stick? Four centuries. It has been four centuries. I never wish to remain in that world, nor do I wish to do so now. Yet here I am, a stranger in a strange land. Everything's changed. Everyone. Such a cursed fate to befall a man. Why, why, why? Uh, dark. What? Just what am I supposed to say to that? This guy's got issues. Gee, way to be empathetic, big bro. Not, uh, um... <laughs> uh, well, y you know, uh... Times may have changed, but Lordemar has stayed untouched. You can still go home. After all, there's nothing keeping you here, right? Go and fulfill your oath. Whatever it may entail. Look, I feel for you, but... Yes, I shall fulfill my oath. For that purpose, I now pledge myself to you, Kay of House Lauren, for the time being. Wait, what? Indeed, but make no mistake. In all things, I serve the Morning Crown first and foremost. Tis merely... An alliance of convenience, nothing more. I shall burn, sear, and maim your foes. But I shall not be your underling. So state your wishes, for now. I feel like this discussion has just skipped a logical step or two. Yeah. How do we go from righteous outrage to him forcing his way into our ranks? Ask him. I bet there's a cool reason behind it all. What if he attacks me? He doesn't seem like the patient sort. Hmm. Could happen. We must rethink our strategy. I am standing right here, you know. Hey. What do you want?
What? Hi. Ah, ah, no. Customer. Distasteful. Necessary evil, they call it, is it? We are done here. Okay. That's going to be so mad. <sighs> what? Acceptable. Are you all right?
You will show respect! Uh. No. The sun is gone, but I hold the light. What? You speak the truth. You will show respect! Okay... Huh? Okay.
Goodbye. Heresy. This cannot stand. I hold the light. No rest for the wicked. You were right. Sounds good to me. The house was the problem. Stay in the light. Is this... Finally! This definitely looks like the Archives. Bumbling and blundering through seems to have worked indeed. Hey, given our situation, I'll take any shreds of luck we can get. This'll take some time. <laughs> Welcome to my parlor, little morsels. Have you come to play? <laughs> Wondrous! Really? Who talks like that? Show yourself, foul villain! Oh, but I will! Have at thee! This didn't go well at all. Well, I meant well. <laughs> Damn it. Young master? Yes, Griffith? This person was not a villain at all. In indeed. Not even mini boss material. Hey, what? <clears throat> what is that supposed to mean? I am evil. Respect me. Weirdness sure follows you, young master. Not that I want it to be that way. Uh, shall we look into the documents? Stop ignoring me! Would you mind? We're looking for some really important family documents here. Documents? Wait, so you're not here to vanquish me? Why would we want to do that? Well, I assumed that you were heroes sent here by the local populace, no? Surely my campaign of terror is finally paying off? Campaign of terror? Um, hello, the whole vampire thing? Vampire? 
Where? Come out, foul beast! Ah, bollocks. Me! It's me! I'm a vampire! Are you sure about this? I assumed you were just, you know, sun deficient. Yes, I'm sure! I'm also sure I would get apoplexy right now if I wasn't, <laughs> you know, already dead! Okay, so can we look for our stuff now? Oh, naturally, go right- Ah, uh, wait, wait, wait! No! Halt! Lauren, Lauren, Lauren- Nope, nothing. Nothing in sight here either. Given the sheer volume of material, are you sure this is an efficient approach, Master K? No, but there doesn't seem to be a better solution. Um, actually, there is. You said Lauren, right? Purple section, shelf F, third row, collection number, uh, 398D. What? I was bored! What else was I supposed to do around here for 60 years? There it is! The file with the family crest! D.R.L. Duke Robert Lord! Dare I say jackpot? Excellent find, young master. Wait, and those? Are those sketches? Building plans? Look here. This is oddly reminiscent of the layout of our castle. Hmm. Well, in any case, no point in lingering here. I say we bring those back home and let the girls take a closer look at it. Very well. Wait! Uh, aren't you forgetting something? Like what? Well, me. I've been living, or rather, unliving, a lie. It's clear that this was a poor choice for a villain's lair. Nobody ever comes here. Not even the priests. Just what am I supposed to do now? Take me with you. I know I might have not made the best first impression, but give me a chance. Please, I need some fresh material. It's so hard to be evil these days. While I cannot endorse his motivation, I have to admit there's some refreshing enthusiasm to his actions. That and he did help us. I'm starting to think Gwen might be right about me. All right, but you got to pull your own weight. What are your skills? I can give you a perm. Oh, and I can comb a nice fringe. What? You see, I, Theophilianis von Totenkrus, have always wanted to be a hairdresser, but fate dealt me a cruel hand. My vampiric condition did not mesh with my destined profession, so I chose evil. Part of the image, no. Um, I don't think you're doing a very good job at it. I know! That's why I need your help! Just a small chance, that's all I'm asking for, noble sir. Ah, such a riveting tale of crushed dreams and forlorn hopes. This definitely calls for proper action. Okay, okay, you're in. You won't regret this, sir. Let's go then. Huh? <laughs> Awkward, isn't it?
no. Well. Wait, what? Well. Great! Oh, for the love of...
see, if I can't hairdress people because of my condition, then perhaps I shouldn't target people at all. Monsters, pets, and animals is very tight. That's awesome. get you anything? A glass of milk for me, please. Uh, just some tea? Sure thing. <laughs> Is everything all right? You seem worried, big bro. Sure I am. I'm still not convinced. About ruling Escalia? About everything so far. This all feels wrong. I'm no hero, and certainly no king. Just a guy in a wrong place at a wrong time. It's plain as daylight. Hell, even Levant can see that, and he has no eyes. But you're doing fine so far. But I can't really take credit for that, can I? It feels like you guys are doing all the heavy lifting, and I'm just a figurehead. I don't think so. Those Unity people may consider you worthless, but when they came knocking, you did everything in your power to satisfy them. Don't sell yourself short. <sighs> Look, Kay, nobody said it was going to be easy. And even then, you're not alone. You have us. We're in this together, remember? You're right. No, you don't! Not again, mister! Now, now, surely we can talk about this. Uh, there's no need to be upset. Uh, can't you guys let this slide one last time? Huh? Kia, I think guess what? No! It's getting old. Just pay up, please. Ah, uh, see, uh, this might be a tad complicated. Hmm. <laughs> Or, uh, not. Ray, please don't hurt me. What's going on here? Oh, hello again. This strange person doesn't want to pay for his food. Ah, uh, now that's unfair. It's the fifth time, in a row. This proves nothing. But can't you just pay them? Nobody will harm you. Well, you see... You just don't have the money. Exactly. As you can see, I'm clearly the victim of this predicament. I don't think that's how it works. Uh, what are you going to do about him? Ugh, what else? That'll hand him over to you, right, Dad? Mm. What? What what? Aren't you sort of important or something? I guess I am. Uh, you are? Wait, does that mean you're K of House Lauren? That's me. Wonderful. In that case, I pledge myself to your service, good sir. Wait, what? My name is Diego, though I come from the House Leonor of Tevides of Armelasse, more than anything else. I'm a simple traveler, searching for his place in the world. Hearing the tales of Ascalia's revival, I decided to contribute. Is that so surprising? Actually? So, uh, what do you think about my proposal? At this point, I don't see why not. It's not like we haven't had our share of weird people already. Um, no offense, of course. Excellent! Lead the way, then. You still have to foot the bill, though. God damn it. Ha! <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, for the love of Eh. Nah. 
Close enough, I guess. No. Yo. Wait, what? See you. Close enough, I guess. Huh? Okay. How freaking great. Only not.
<laughs> what? Now that's what I'm talking about. By then. Sure. What? Hello. What? Sweet. Evening. What? Scram. I'm a professional.
Oh, bloody hell. Later. Get, get their way from me! No need to worry. I'm a professional. I don't even know you. Right. Well, it's nothing personal. You need to relax. Take a deep breath and... Wait, what? What the hell is going on here? See, that's the kind of attention we don't really need. Move along, girl. Nothing to see here. I'm the lady of this castle. I'm not afraid of a thug with a knife. Oh? You've made some powerful friends, Diego of House Leonor. Hell, I'm impressed. Clever boy. I didn't suspect you of such cunning. Can you start making sense already? Well, sweetheart, I was contracted to hunt down this man. And being the consummate pro that I am, I intend to do just that. What did he do? Does it matter? Somewhere, someone wants him dead. Now, if there's nothing else... Wait, wait, uh, just wait, damn it. As much as I'd like you to off that sleazy son of a submariner... Son of a submariner? I'm going to insist on a no-kill, go-away policy. See, this is the estate of House Lauren of Escalia. You cannot do as you please. Well, that's not good. I have a job to do here, miss. I admire your dedication to your work. I suggest a deal. What? What? Between a beast girl, a guy in a bucket, and two dumbasses, a competent assassin sounds like something we could use. Now look. Of course, you can decline. But as much as I agree with your stance on things, I still won't allow you to kill anyone associated with our court. That's just bad press. Bad press? Lady, you don't know bad press. I'm a professional. I don't give up on my commissions as soon as he steps out of your care. Tough luck. You heard the lady. I'm not going anywhere. That's great, because neither am I. We're going to have all the time in the world, my good Diego. Uh... You boys work it out between yourselves, then. Ta-ta. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, don't leave me with him. Don't let him kill me. Oh, poor Diego. You have no idea. Hey, greetings. Evening. UK Lauren. That's me. Grand. The name's Grand. Now look, your sister over there tells me you have a job for me. I said that a professional assassin like him would make an excellent addition to our roster of lunatics. Are you sure that's wise? Certainly fashionable at the very least. First thing, I prefer the term bounty hunter. Second, I am not some damn scrap beggar. You want me, you need to pay for me. Also, I'm kind of already in the middle of a job, so that'll cost you extra. I have my standards. Yes, I heard. You're after Diego. That's right. I'm here because of that Diego fellow. Right, so you're gonna pay me or not? You know, Gwen, this is slightly odd, isn't it? It's a stalemate one way or another. But we could use it to our advantage. Just as we could use the talent of a consummate professional like himself. Fair enough. I trust he'll handle the payments? Sure, why not? Welcome aboard, Sir Gren. I'm no sir, sir. Welcome aboard, Gren. Hi. Boss. Scram. No go.
sure. Oh, bloody hell. Hey! Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, okay. My family used to beat me routinely. My good old dad would punch me so hard that my eyes would bleed. On my second name day, he took away all the gift money the guests brought, spending it on a slab. All I ever got was a silly barcode tattoo on the back of my head. My mum was no better. Every other day, she'd grab her durries, light them up, and stick them right into my arm. When I close my eyes, I can still hear the sizzling. Oh, for the love of... Cheers! <sighs> Scram! Are you alright? This stuff's great! I'm a professional. Huh? Grand! Huh? Bloody hell! Cheers. Evening. Nice. I'm a professional. Okay. Grand. Sure. Evening. Nice to meet you. Now, prepare to die. Uh. 
Uh... I prefer the term bounty hunter. Nice! Cheers! Hello there. This stuff's great. I'm glad to hear that. Short version? You're not a bad guy, boss. And I'm glad I came here. Oh, I see. You must be Kay of House Warren. What made you realize? His valiant floor hugging? Uh, <laughs> yes, that's me. Please to meet ya. I'm Esther. Boy, I'm so glad you agreed to our academic exchange program. I can't wait to see how things are handled here in Rashtil. I agree to that? The Akshartae insisted. She's here as our official diplomatic guest from Shedu. An excellent opportunity to tighten our relations, if you ask me. Ah, so she's the one. Pleased to meet you, Miss Esther. Oh, hello. So you're a wizard, miss? Just Esther, thank you. And no, my work is more of the mundane kind. Eh? I'm an engineer, or rather a machinist. There's plenty of cogs, clockwork, and metal involved. An ounce of magic may be out there too, but mostly it's just steam. I, uh... I thought most of the people of Shedu were wizards. Bingo! Most of them. Not me, though. What I do is science at its purest. The bright spirit of human ingenuity. I mean, why use magic when you can construct a machine to do magic for you? Why indeed? It's infinitely more reliable, too. What? Uh, excuse me. I think my machine may have, uh, malfunctioned. Permission to go clean the armory, Sir Kay? Uh, sure. Once again, I'm glad to be here. I'm so looking forward to working with you. See you later! Nice girl. Why am I not surprised that you like her? You could try being nice for a change, sis. It won't kill you, you know. Yes, but I'm sure the imminent explosion of one of her machines will. Hold on. She said it was an academic exchange program, right? That's correct. Well, then whom did we send? Shichiroji. You're screwing with me. No. Well, then how? They sent him back. Quite a snuggly city you've got there, Kay. I'm glad to hear that. Machines can do the work.
Okay. Algebraic! Machines can do the work. Where did I go wrong? Excuse me.
Okay. Where did I go wrong? Machines can do the work. It's working! That's awesome. The machine does a resounding success! <laughs> Can't thank you enough! And this is the main room, which I'm sure you're familiar with already. From here, you can get to the armory, the kitchens, and the guest rooms. I see. So far, the inspection has proven rather satisfactory. Inspection? Technically, you are still a foreign state. As an agent of Lordemar, it is my duty to keep a close eye on any possible threats. You consider us a threat? That's not what I said at all. It's just a standard procedure, really. With that in mind, would it be problematic if I took a peek at the armory? Not at all. Let's go. Hmm. I see it's being kept in excellent condition. It's all Griffith, honestly. He's the kind of man who really loves to polish his spear. <laughs> Is that so? That came out wrong. Just a little bit. You would be amazed by what is deemed acceptable by the official protocol. Ah, and I assume you are the fabled Lord Azaleus Castor Levant. We haven't been properly introduced yet, have we? Play nice, Levant, please. 
I am Henrietta Von Hart, agent of the Mystere, envoy to the Revelators. I hail from Lordemar just like you do. Ha! There is no kinship between us, assumed or otherwise. I can already tell we will get along famously. Hmm. Regardless, I've seen enough. I think we can safely conclude the trip. I'm at your disposal, Lord Loren. Welcome aboard, Lady Hart. I shall head upstairs for now. I need to conclude my initial report. She is a spy. Excuse me? You have invited a spy of another monarch into your ranks, but why? The wench holds no love for you or your kingdom. It's called diplomacy. She's an ambassador. Uh, same thing, different name. Let's just let her be, okay? <laughs> Unacceptable. Quite understandable. Excellent. Thank you for your time. Most fortuitous. I'm glad to hear that. The Age of Conquests is over, Lord Loren. The politics of old are dead and gone. Nobody really wants to play war anymore. And rightly so. It's just not profitable. Excellent. Okay. Quite understandable. Hello there. Greetings.
Oh, for the love of... Proceed. We need to talk. Sure. How sad. I disagree. How sad. Okay. Greetings. I'm glad to hear that. Despite all the terrible historical reasons for hate and mistrust, time and time again you've proven a steadfast ally to the Kingdom of Lordemar. And a good friend. Thank you for that. Tell me, are you of House Lauren? That's us. Did you need something? Excellent. Look alive, crew! This is the place where dreams come to die and shatter and be reborn in hundredfold little pieces, like a symphony of good and bad, but mostly bad. Yes, this is Escalia. If you're looking for a job, I'm afraid the circus is packed up already. Ha! Tongues like swords. Balin likes it here already. Um. Are you guys bandits? Rogues, perhaps. Bandits? No. You are in the presence of the Pirate King of Mareware himself, Balin Alsigan. The one, the only, Lord of the Sea Wolves. Dragon on the Sea! <laughs> Thanks, boys. But Balin believes that stacking titles is a sign of egomania. 
And like Valen likes to say, Valen will always be just Valen. Isn't he awesome? Ah! <laughs> Pirates? But aren't you a little far away from the sea? I've heard that it's not uncommon for the elves to navigate rivers. Maybe that's the case here. Ah, but why the cruel approach? Don't you see it only flenses the mystique? Uh-huh. Valen carries the sea with him, wherever he goes. No storm is too big, no land is too dry, for our hearts are made of brine. Why do you talk about yourself in the... A little bird told Valen that you fancy yourself a friend to elves. Even if we're different, it's a relationship worth fighting for. Then House Lauren and the crew of Ace share a belief. That said, Valen holds no love for Alphamir. Aren't all elves part of Alphamir? Aye. They'd make you think that, wouldn't they? I suppose Valen is something of a rebel then. A free spirit, unbound by tales of some mysterious kingdom. But most of all, he's a pirate. Ain't that right, guys? Yeah! You're the base captain! Uh, he's like a big blue clown, isn't he? I don't know. There's something odd about him. Well, what do you need of us then, Sir Valen? This is a tale unknown to countless generations. A kingdom is lost. A kingdom is rebuilt. The rightful king returns, righting the wrongs. The people rally. The fair folk bend their knees before him. All this is a dream, a story, and Valen wants to be part of that story. You want to join us? Quite certainly, yes. Alas, Valen will have to leave his fearless crew behind, but they know he will return. So all is well. Cotton will be waiting. Leave the Ascarals to us, sire. Now, the only uncertainty left is your answer. If he's a rebel, this may cause some diplomatic repercussions with Alphamir. He strikes me as the sort of man who only wants to be free. That can't be that bad, right? He's a pirate. He robs people for a living. Yes, but he doesn't seem like the bad kind of pirate, you know? What does that even mean? He robs only the richest, my dear. On that point, Valen appears to be something of an unrepentant rogue. That doesn't make it better. Alas, your answer? I wouldn't mind another skilled fighter, to be honest. Welcome aboard, Sir Valen. Hear that, guys? That's the sound of a glorious new chapter opening. Despair not. It's not time for goodbyes yet. Know this. You will always be in Valen's thoughts. Because we're all brothers. To the last man. Valen salutes you, gentlemen! Captain! You are awesome, Captain. We will be waiting, Captain. I wonder if we'll ever get somebody normal for a change. What? <laughs> I
quite right. Quite right. <laughs> right. Sad day.
Offer your eye, Jarlkin, he heard. Offer your eye so that you may see. From the eye, a fountain of wisdom shall spring. A brew shall be made, and with it, you shall see at last. Aye! Life lost, and life gained in return. That would be a fair trade, I. Okay. Sure. The juices are flowing! <laughs> Hey, what's the word, Mr. K? Oh. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> Excellent. Hey. Balin thanks you. <laughs> Indeed is Valen thinking what you're thinking, or so he thinks, at least. But for now, Valen is here, and he won't abandon you in your quest, Kay. You can count on him when it comes to that. Oh, by the way, if that whole king gig doesn't work out, remember, there's a place where you'll always be welcome. The Ace Carol sure could use a guy like you, Mr. K. So, when is the delegation from the Empire to arrive? Uh, they should be here. Well, now, or rather, 20 minutes ago. Figures. Leave it to a dwarf to be slow. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if it turned out to be a calculated diplomatic tactic. Don't let your guard down. Lady Gwen, please. The dwarves are extremely honorable people. They also have the most mind-boggling network of stubborn, self-important clans. Two sides of the same coin. Both annoying. Hush! Someone's coming! <gasps> Could it be? Uh, look, Regal, people! Hi-ho! You the Lorne boy? Uh, yes. I'm Kay of House Lorne. Lord of Ascalia. Are you a part of the Dwarven delegation that we were supposed to meet? Delegation? Wait, you don't know? I don't understand. The Emperor himself wrote that today we would be getting aid for the city. Where are the reinforcements? Reinforcements? You're looking at him. What? You've got to be kidding me. This... Nope, just me. Huh. Think he's strong, Griffith? Um, well... Strong? <laughs> Missy, uh, do you think all the Emperors are born, armed, and dangerous? Who do you think taught them, huh? Um, considering the phrasing of your question, you? <laughs> That's right. Three generations of Imperial diapers and chicken pox. And yeah, sometimes swords. If what you are saying is true, then you must be quite an accomplished individual indeed. Also goddamn old. You were saying? Nothing of import, Master Dwarf. Mifune. My name is Mifune. I was born to the Dragonfly Clan. I don't remember when. Way too long ago. Look it up in a book if you need. I don't care. Now, pup, now that we've exchanged some initial confusion, would you be so kind to show this old man his quarters? Not ah, certainly. Please follow me. Is he really the best the Emperor had to offer? Uh, 
I'm glad to hear that. Oh. Are you all right? I'm old. I'm allowed to be irreverent. Okay. All right, you. Okay. <laughs> All right, you. <laughs> right. All right, you. What? <laughs> what? Don't think, feel, go with the flow. <laughs> All bullcrap and bullshit, oh. 
happily dispensed by terrible fighters and con men. Hi ho. Sure. I need to kill a guy. Nope. Okay. Ha! Well... Thanks, Pop. Are you all right? Oh. I'm sorry, Heihachi. Wherever you are, I hope you're not too mad. Gonna get you right back to the Field of Blades, don't you worry. Thanks, Pop. Well... 
Hey! Hi ho! Good! Remember when I said that the Emperor puts great hopes in you? I wasn't joking back then. Hell, these days it's almost everything he ever writes about. I'm glad to hear that. Sure. Good. Shall we? Another miss. Lick clean. Adram, why can't a man make a decent profit anymore? Not that I'm complaining. Maybe the castle would be more fruitful. Hello. Eh? Oh! <laughs> uh, hello! <clears throat> hello. Uh, mighty fine weather for a stroll. Am I right? Yep. Are you here for a walk, too? Ah, uh, no. Not precisely. I am on a walk, yes. But it is a different kind of walk. A gilded walk of spreading joy and awe to all whom I may encounter. I am Haksun ibn al-Andoraz, purveyor of goods most wondrous, wandering merchant supreme, and uh, most certainly not one of those street peddlers who would shank you for a stray copper. <laughs> Then you must have come to see my brother. I'm afraid uh, your meaning eludes me. But if you pardon me asking, what is a nice young lady like yourself doing in a place like this? I live here. Uh, you live here? As in... here, here? I know. I'm sorry about the mess, but it's a recent thing. My brother just became the lord of that castle. See? Over there! Oh, is that so? <laughs> well, well, things just got very, very interesting. Perhaps there is good money to be made here, after all. <laughs> this is a most fortuitous development. I would be delighted to exchange goods with your brother. That is, uh, with your permission, my fair lady. But of course! I'm sure he'll be overjoyed to have you. Ah, splendid! Well then, all that remains is a handshake to cement our joyous agreement. Am I right? Shall we? <laughs> hmm. That's new. Pleases me greatly. Oh, <laughs> oh a thousand curses upon me. <laughs> No. Hmm. 
<laughs> right. No, 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 no. By the blazing saddles of a hundred hunchback turtles! That's not right! Badram! Trust me, I'm an experienced entrepreneur. Right. Gramercy, kind sir. Why me? Hey! My gratitude eternal! No, 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 no. Don't worry about the hunchback turtles. Let me worry about the hunchback turtles.
Are you all right? Okay. What? Okay. Mercy, kind sir. Okay. Sell high by law. Eh. Man! 
magnificent! What? Oh, for the love of... Badram! I like that. My gratitude eternal. <laughs> this pleases me greatly. Uh... Excellent choice. <laughs> I like that. My friend! Okay... This is the place, young master. Welcome to the placeholder. Can I get you something? Uh, hello. Well met. We would like to speak with the esteemed owner of this fine establishment. Post haste. You're weird. Mister, why does your friend speak like a weirdo? Mm. Gods, Griffith. You just can't reel it in, can you? I'm sorry. We don't want anything. Thanks. 
Can we speak with the owner? Sure. What do you need? Wait, wait. I think I'm not getting through. The owner, as in the guy who owns this place? Yep. And that's you? Yep. But you're like, what, 12? Yep. All right, Griffith. You win. Lend me a hand here. You're the owner, then. Are you guys slow or something? What about that menacing gentleman behind the counter? Him? That's my dad. He works here. And? And Co owns the place, I guess. Aha! Thank you. That's what we wanted to hear. Huh, weirdos. Greetings. <clears throat> Are you the owner of this inn? <clears throat> I am Kay of House Lauren. I wanted to inform you that I... <clears throat> well, uh... Be rebuilding. Um, please stop staring at me like that. You're freaking me out. <clears throat> so, uh, the weather's nice, yes? <clears throat> Come on, give me something to work with. <clears throat> uh, pretty please? <clears throat> oh, for the love of. I don't answer, you know. What? Baz never speaks. What do you mean, he never speaks? He can't speak? Mm, don't know. I haven't ever heard him utter a word. How does he manage to run a tavern? That girl over there, Rilke, his daughter. She is his lips for all it's worth. I noticed he's a little... intense. Yeah, that's Baz. Staring the crap out of people one customer at a time. And you are? Shichirochi! Or just Shichi. I used to fight in the war, and that's where I met Baz. Which war? Does it really matter? Well, we're veterans, good sirs. Spending our retirement running an inn in the ass end of nowhere. Are you also an owner? Eh, uh, no. I like to think of myself as a permanent guest who doesn't pay for his drinks. <laughs> and, uh, sometimes sleeps in the basement. So, you're a bum. Hey, some of us quit the war with dignity. Me, I got a hole in my wallet. Also gonorrhea. I see. I take it that the inn doesn't get many visitors. Nope. Supposedly, once upon a time, these crossroads were an oft-traveled trade route. That castle over yonder, heart of Ascalia, the jewel of Reshitul, blah, blah, blah. Long gone now, only roaches and rubble. I'm Kay of House Lauren. Ascalia once belonged to my family. Oh, yeah, indeed. You're here to fix things a bit, boy? More or less, yes. <laughs> hear that, Buzz? We got a king over here. Business will flow again. <laughs> well, that's nice and all, but I'm afraid you'll be having some problems getting people to resettle. How so? It's because of the beast. They're afraid of the beast. <laughs> what manner of beast are you talking about, young lady? They say it's got three heads, and its eyes are like fire, and it shoots acid out of its rear? Truth be told, uh, no one knows. Hmph. But it's true. Something stalks the woods, cutting animals. People are afraid of it. They say they can feel its eyes on their necks as they travel through the forest. Now, I've heard that even elves steer clear of these parts. Yet nobody has ever actually seen this beast. Nope. Sounds like a myth, no? Indeed. Yeah, well, myth or not, it scares people. Besides, you're the top dog around here now, laddie. If anybody should be worried about this, it's you. Hmm. Will you be slaying the beast, good sirs? Indeed we will. If it truly exists, we shall restlessly scour the land until we manage to plant a sword in its squishy yet monstrous forehead. What? 
Oh, it's so exciting! Can you drop by later and tell us how it went? Papa loves stories! Right, Papa? <sighs> On my honor! Well then, good luck, laddie. Happy hunting. I'll be raising a mug here, hoping for your, uh, non-demise. Uh, now, wait a minute. Hey there. Sure. What can I get you? Yes, sir. Hello there. Okay. I'm gonna need a frickin' drink. That's 
smile if my face wasn't dumb. Worse getting bad over. For the love of... Wait, what? No. 
now. <laughs> Good one. Thanks. Sounds good to me. King what with a drunk like me is beyond me. I 
don't think so. Just saying. <laughs> I like. Are you all right? Uh. 
I'd smile if my face were dumb. Okay. <laughs> I like that. Hey, 
there. What can I get you? Uh, just some tea, please. Sure thing. Give me a sec. Hmm. I sure could use some rest and recreation. Peace. Quiet. Just what I needed. Ah, yeah. Oh, a new face! What can I get you? Wait, is that a dog? Is he wearing a tutu? Oh my gosh, you're so cute! Oh! <gasps> cute? You think he's cute? So magnificent! I found it after years of searching. The perfect place to set up my workshop. A place where style, dogs, and stylish dogs are truly appreciated. Oh, the blessed day! The hot magma burns with everlasting flames! Um, is everything okay? It could not be better, kind and handsome stranger. Handsome? But where are my manners? My name is Gunther. Well, young man, will you shake my hand as befitting the manly men that we are? Uh, hello, I I'm Kay. <laughs> Oh, did it notice you? Good dog, good dog. That's Heinrich. Isn't he the biggest, cutest bundle of joy? Aren't you, Heinrich? He doesn't look particularly happy about his getup. Nonsense. Heinrich and I have been together since forever. I know his moods better than anyone. We're artists of metal, looking for new inspirations for our trade. Our homeland is sadly a bit... dull in that area. Artists of metal? So you're a blacksmith? I prefer to think of myself as a creator first, and a craftsman second, good sir. Incidentally, the Fraulein over here has convinced me that this is the place. The city where we will be able to enjoy life's finer aspects at last. Frau what? Is that some kind of food? Unbridled creativity. Great minds bending raw materials to their views. Isn't it exhilarating? Uh, okay. Well, it just so happens that I'm the ruler of this city. We could certainly use a skilled blacksmith. You? Oh, magnificent, handsome, and influential. <laughs> but if we are to channel our hot passions onto cold steel, we're going to need a decent smithy. Can you arrange that, good sir? Leave it to me. Excellent! <laughs> then we'll stay here until this house of splendors is completed. Oh, I can promise you right now, you're going to have the most wondrous equipment in all of the realms. <laughs> Isn't that right, Heinrich? <laughs> ah. Master four. The juices are flowing. <laughs> I cannot thank you enough. The magnificence!
sure. Oh. Esteemed customer. Magnificent. <laughs> <laughs> um, it has been my pleasure. I'm grateful. What?
Hey! Eh. I'm glad to hear that. Hello there. Heinrich thanks you, friend. <laughs> Is me. Uh, got a second, Signy? I have some stuff I'd like to run by you. Certainly. <sighs> huh? Is something wrong? Excuse me for a moment. What the hell? A woman? Conventional prey, one so bold to hide in the den of predators. Hello to you too, Signy. You know my name. Naturally. After all, you're the famed Beast of Rashdil, no? That's what the locals used to call you anyway. And you're Sir Kay of House Lauren, no doubt. The current Lord of Escalia. You sure know a lot. Who are you? My name is Mirian Arlethine, but please, call me Miri. I'm an adventurer and explorer, sometimes writer. Maybe you've heard of my work? No? Well, doesn't matter. Basically, I go where other people don't want to go, to see it with my own eyes and write about it. The world is too awesome to be afraid if you ask me. Really? Is there a name for such a line of work? I don't know. I like to call myself a pathfinder. Right. 
Okay, it's all fine and well, but there's still something you have to explain first. You mean the whole hide-and-seek shenanigans. Yes, I'm sorry about that. See, I came to Rashdil upon hearing rumors of the fabled beast. Grandiose rumors, mind you. I thought to myself, why not see it with my own eyes? What if I managed to track it, study it, perhaps even reach an understanding? Wouldn't it make a fascinating discovery? Imagine my surprise when the beast turned out to be... Well, you know. You and me both. <laughs> Make no mistake, this was well worth the effort. Even if it wasn't what I expected. We barely know anything about the Dead West or the Kelra, their lives, customs. Essentially, it became a perfect opportunity to delve a little bit deeper. Are you saying you've been stalking her? I, uh, well... Choose your next words wisely, Martin. Anyway, it's a fascinating field of study. An untouched culture. Isn't that exciting? I guess. So what do you think? Is that a yes? Huh? Well, given the wealth of opportunities here, I thought it was obvious. I'd like to move in. Oh, so you're looking to stay in Escalia? For a while, yeah. Even though her migration is not yet complete, a wandering bird would need a feeder, yes? Signy's right. If you want to stay, you can't just monkey around like that. You'll need a proper house. Hmm. Now that I think about it, considering the original source, that's a pretty ironic observation. I won't need much. Just a roof and some extra space to keep the spoils. Though I suppose a warm bed wouldn't hurt. Alright, I'll see what I can do. In the meantime, would you consider staying at the placeholder? It's our local inn. Sure thing, Chief. But no stalking! The prey will keep distance, yes? Oh, but of course. I'll be extra careful, you can be sure of that. Hey! Sure. The world is just awesome! Huh? Excellent. Thank you. Awesome. I'll get you a mention in the book for this. Hey! Okay. Thanks, that's great! I'll get you a mention in the book for this. A 
a good day for a journey. Okay. Like a novel. Thanks, that's great! Excellent! Thank you! Okay. Uh, no. Adventure Ho! Uh. 
No. Thanks, that's great. Nice. This is great. I'm definitely going to write about this. I'll get you a mention in the book for this. That's awesome! Hit a mother load. Sure. <sighs> Found something? Yes! Look! It's a rock. I know! Isn't it amazing? <laughs> Looks pretty common to me. Well, sure, there are many like it, but this one <laughs> is mine. The shape, the texture, the color, so subtle yet so unique. I couldn't ask for a finer friend. What fun we shall have together. I'm gonna pet him and hug him and name him George. <laughs> and, and, well, everything. <laughs> so I guess it's time to move now. Bye-bye. Wait, wait, wait. Aren't you forgetting about something? Huh? Well, like, us. Oh, right! I'm so sorry, guys! Mm. So, yeah! Hey, I'm Winter! Nice to meet you! Odd name for an elf. It's the one my dad gave me, and sure, we could go by Vistra, the cold-footed. But that's a bit pretentious, don't you think? Elves are kind of humorless. Right. That didn't help, did it? I'm adopted. My parents found me in the middle of nowhere, and it kind of stuck. Both the name and the baby, that is. Anywho, T. Perhaps a cookie or two? No, thank you. I'd actually like to know more about you. 
there's not much to tell. <laughs> I'm a simple girl. I travel a lot, hoarding rocks and minerals. My dad was a miner, so maybe that rubbed off on me. When you said your dad was a miner... A human dad, yes. What about the other elves? They don't mind? Psh, what about them? I don't. Just because we all have pointy ears doesn't mean we have anything in common, you know. Well, aside from the Anim, that is. But it's all feelings and whispers, no biggie. If anything, it helps me find stuff better. It gets my memory sharper. Have I already offered tea? I forgot. A knack for finding resources sure sounds useful. Tell me, have you considered settling somewhere? On behalf of the city-state of Ascalia, I'd like to invite you to join us as our resource expert. Okay. What? Uh, really? <laughs> Just like that? Huh? Oh, yeah! I could use a hand with bringing my bouldery friends along. Four or five bags, <laughs> give or take. I, uh, I'm sure Griffith will be more than happy to help. <sighs> for that okay as stone is <laughs> hey Boulder by the minute! I'm gonna need a drink. Wait, what?
I like that. Rock solid. A stone is she? Okay. Okay. Oh, nice. Hey. Oh, nice. Rock solid! Huh? A gift from the heart. A rock buddy just for you!
bolder by the minute! <laughs> uh. Well, are you coming? Yeah, I'm telling you, for the last time, you can't set up shop here. This is a well-established business zone. Nobody needs your services. Hmm. <sighs> is that so? I mean, potions. Notions elixirs? That's so six centuries ago. Who needs those anymore, am I right? We understand each other, yes? No, I do not understand. Well, watch my fingers, for I'm about to send you one very clear mess. Gentlemen, is there a problem? <laughs> no, no, not a problem at all. Uh, just a casual chat. There is no need to get involved at all, Sir Lauren. <gasps> Sir Lauren? As in, Lord K. Lauren? Uh, might you be the one in charge? <sighs> Sometimes I talk too much. Indeed, that's me. And you are? I am a scientist. That's... vague. It's a matter of ethos. I believe in science. I exercise science. Hence, I am a scientist. <laughs> A competitor. What might that science be? Alchemy! I brew concoctions for any and every occasion. As questions, as answers, as problems, as solutions. There's a difference between a swamp herbalist and a devoted alchemist. I am proud to emphasize that difference. I see. And what does an alchemist require of me? A place to practice my trade! My previous laboratory imploded on all known planes of existence. An unfortunate kerfuffle among my assistants. Nothing overtly lethal, still unfortunate. Hmm, a potion brewer. An alchemist, I insist. Right. Well, I'd certainly be glad to have you. I think an alchemist would be an excellent addition to our town. But try not to blow up anything this time, okay? Fear you not. Mistakes have been made. Mistakes won't be repeated. No assistance this time. It's easy to handle such delicate substances by myself. Let's hassle, too. This is excellent. You are excellent. This decision is excellent. Everything is excellent. I'll get to work right now. Wait, wait! Where are you going? We need to get you a proper lab first. Hmm. Consider staying at the inn, meanwhile. Ah, an inn. Does it have proper distillation facilities? I'm going to lean toward no on this one. No matter. The end, then. I will wait. Uh, a moment again? It occurs to me that you never told me your name. Oh, my name? This is getting weird. Why do you sound surprised? Surely you must have a name. Yes. It's Riel. All right. Riel. Nice to meet you. You can go now. Man, does that mask creep me out. Greetings! I do not understand. Yes! Uh, 
<sighs> I am a scientist. Good enough. Yes! Oh, science! Yes! Now, where was I? Hey! Oh! It didn't work! Okay. Huh? Thank you. Always more tests to run.
Okay. What? Okay. more tests to run. Thanks to you, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> I do not understand. For the love of... Uh-huh. No. But hold on. Let me unfasten the straps. Oh, here it goes. fancy signs and words and yet here we are standing in a moist mossy dumpster figures I take it you remain skeptical about this mystic we've both seen our share of magic haven't we whatever this is about I'd say it reeks more of a cult instead yes I agree although it strikes me as odd that a sinister cult would operate through something as trite as leaflets yeah, okay, but does this really look like a place of learning to you? Well, there is that thing. A uh, book? If we are going with the cult explanation, I would hazard a guess that it is a holy text of some kind. 
It certainly looks important. Hmm. Young master, is something the matter? Um, you'll think I'm crazy, but I swear that thing is silently judging us, Griffith. It's just so ominous. Nonsense. Perhaps we shouldn't open it? Please, young master. This is hardly the time to cave into trickery and superstition. <laughs> Trickery and superstition? In a way, this is a quite generous assessment. I've heard much worse. Still, I cannot help but feel disappointed. Such esteemed guests would prove to be so close-minded. You must be the mystic we've heard so much about. The one behind the Enlightenment program? I know things, yes. Tis not a sin to share knowledge with others, my friends. I've seen much throughout my life, and seeing is believing. All gathered here in this book, the divine sum of my experiences, my personal paths to salvation. I am more than willing to let others embrace these paths. It's magic then? To a certain extent. Meaning? Well, what you're describing or hoping for is spells. Potent formulas, yet merely a strain of a larger whole. I offer a different kind of insight. Your friend <laughs> doubts my words. What is it that troubles you, young man? I cannot help but notice you have a peculiar way of weaving words, Mr... <laughs> Bassanius. I suppose a degree of mistrust cannot be avoided. I do not wish to convert you, if that is what you fear. You are welcome, however, to study this book at your own leisure. It remains, all things considered, a tome of arcane power. Who knows? Maybe you can find something of use to you. Free of charge, I take it? Free of charge. And we can take the book, just like that. I only seek to spread my knowledge among the masses. Your call, young master. I am reluctant to put faith in this man, or his personal hygiene, but it is hard to deny that he poses no harm to us. Very well, let's see the book. Hmm. Seems like a pretty regular book. Look, are those not scribbles? I wonder... Mr. Bassanius, what's special about this book again? <laughs> Kids these days. So gullible. <sighs> well, they're lost. What the sh... Huh? All right, let's calm down. We can fix this. What do we know, Griffith? Well, I am no expert on such things, but it would certainly appear that we somehow got sucked into that book. We got conned after all. But why? What does he stand to gain from this? Ah, to hell with that guy! The real question is, how do we get out? <sighs> Hopeless, isn't it? <sighs> I guess this is the part where we say goodbye to the world. You were supposed to disagree with me, Griffith. Well... What was that? It seems like the tome is not quite done with us yet. These conjured creatures, they cannot be real. Nevertheless, I think it is safe to assume that they can harm us all the same. Right, as if imprisonment wasn't enough. Let's fight our way through then. You see this, Griffith? More strangeness, no doubt.
What may that be? Only one way to find out. What? How? But the only way for you to flee... Does that mean that you have vanquished the Grimoire's constructs? I think you owe us some explanation. And fast. Uh, hold on. I didn't... I, I didn't... It's, it's all a mistake. I swear. A harmless mistake. Villain! Even now, in the very face of your deception, you would claim innocence? Are the lives of those you lead astray truly worth so little to you? Deceiving innocence is one thing, but trapping them for certain death? How foul can one man be? The magic of the grimoire is not lethal. Confounding, yes, but not lethal. The thing you fought, mere reconstructions, uh, pulled from the fragments of your psyche. In due time, you would have been spat out by the forces within. A little bruised, perhaps, but with a significant gap in your memory, but dead? No, no, no. Nobody ever dies. Those who come, those taken by the Grimoire, they return diminished, but that always subsides. But before their mind clears, you know, if they happen to be confused enough for me to willfully let go of their belongings, well, <laughs> too bad. You're still hurting people! Oh, well... There is always a certain amount of sham in shamanism. Those people I'm hurting believe what they want to believe. I can offer them no more and no less than what they are willing to accept in the first place. I do not seek them out. They come to me. What does that even mean? Well, it takes a certain degree of unhealthiness of the mind, shall we say, to seek out wisdom in places like these. I'm merely capitalizing on those needs. So you're admitting that all of this is fraudulent. You are not a sage, just a repulsive, opportunistic charlatan. You exploit people for your own gains and think no less of yourself for it. Is that it? No, 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 no. Well, kind of. Can we just slay him, young master? I am certain nobody would miss him. What? <laughs> I know you're not serious, Griffith, but your point stands. You are coming with us, Mr. Bassanius. As a member of House Lauren, I need to address this matter both personally and in accordance with the local law. Wait, 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 wait. Surely you cannot mean that. Let's discuss this. Even now, you would beg for a selfish pardon? No, no, no. I am more than just glib words, my outraged friend. For example, I can do this. More parlor tricks? He's gone. Huh. Must have been quite desperate. He left his book behind. Such a vile object. We cannot leave it here, young master, lest he shall return and continue his charade. Agreed. It's the least we can do. Pack it up and let's go. You've got to be joking. <laughs> this is absurd.
Well said. You've got to be kidding me. Surely you jest. Oh, for the love of...
Sounds good to me. For the love of... Wait, what? Oh, for the love of...
Okay. What? What? No.
Uh. I see. Right. Funny how that worked out. Good kid. <laughs> <laughs> 